Hello, everyone. We're here with DKC to start day two. Yay! Yay! Yeah. <clears throat> What's that? Well, I like this game. This game's fun. Yeah. I do too. No, I meant what Mia did, but yes, oh. this game is fun. <laughs> it's called a Nya. <laughs> Likes for yeah, man. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh. Oh man. <laughs> Before anyone asks, no, this is 101 percent. Fair enough. Because because Ryan doesn't care enough to do it for us. No. Nope. <laughs> I mean that is asking a lot. <laughs> it's also incredibly. You know, there's... It's also incredibly tedious. Yeah. This is another one of those games that, uh, aside from like a casual like pick up and play at like a friend's house or something, I've never played this game. Really? Then why? Yeah. Then why are you here? Because I like Donkey yeah. Kong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're here because you probably watch the, the cartoon. <laughs> yeah, I, I watched the cartoon. Slabber. That doesn't count. <laughs> yes, it does. GJ, every day you give me another reason to question our friendship. <laughs> well, it's just another thing that you get to show me. Tyler, I can show you the world, TJ. <laughs> Shining, expanding dogs. If I had known someone who wasn't going to actually play DKC was going to be here, I'd invited Nathan instead. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nathan is the far superior choice, of course. Well, duh. That, that's that's uh, under any ah, circumstance. Please. Exactly. Even, even if it's like we're choosing someone named TJ, Nathan. <laughs> Nathan. I always liked the, in the in the instruction manual uh, for the the game they actually explain how Diddy ends up in that barrel. Yeah. The the Kremlins come in, in the middle of the night and Diddy is on guard duty and Kremlins just overpower him and stuff him in a barrel. Oh my God! So how does that? They show that. So, so how does Diddy how is Diddy able to beat them later then? That's, that's the thing though, it's like in all these games like this, it's like, that happens, but then Diddy can take out regular Kremlins with no problem whatsoever. Oh, it's because he wasn't tired. Well, actually in the GBA version, they kind of show like, um, first a, a bunch battle, of the yeah. regular ones come, and then the one of the stronger ones that he can't take out comes along, and we can assume that's how he got overpowered. You the, Game Boy, you the Game yeah. Boy Advance versions. They're honestly not Was that, that bad, although the controls are a bit slippery, but I... Controls are a oh, bit slippery and the graphics just aren't as good. Well, to be fair, it was designed for GBA screens before the SP came out, so... You know, I can sort of cut them some slack, but yeah, it's obviously not as good as the Super Nintendo version. Cutting slack? That's not like you, Mia. <laughs> Shut up, TJ. Alright, so do we have guys, any... Guys, we can, we can all agree the best version is the Game Boy Color version. Oh my... <laughs> you mean Donkey Kong Land? No, that's the Game no, Boy. No, the Game Boy. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no. They did a Game Boy port of Donkey oh. Kong, which I had, and I couldn't make it past World Two because it was so infuriating to play. I, uh, yeah, yeah, me too. I remember, I remember my friend let me borrow the Game Boy version, and uh, I put it in my console, and uh, I went to play it, and it was like, "Hey, sorry, you don't have a Game Boy Color." I was like, "No." <laughs> Alright, so since we're just starting day two, any early donations? Oh yeah, let me have a, let me just get that put up. As people, as I'm sure you guys know, we're here to raise money for the Dreamscape uh, Foundation. If Whether you're watching this on Twitch or our channel, fund the charity room made by our resident Fox School Mia. You'll see a nice fancy yeah. donate graphic. If you click on that, it'll take you to the uh, GoFundMe page for the Dreamscape Foundation, uh, where you can donate. You can uh, leave uh, leave uh, co questions for us, comments for us, um, we, because because you know the uh, Twitch chat goes by so quickly. If you really want to get a question answered, I would recommend the best ways to uh, send a, a donation. Also, if you want to add to an incentive game, whether you can choose which uh, Castlevania games Johnny does or which uh, Shadow the Hedgehog runs, Ted does. Make him play can, uh, Order of Ecclesia and Pure Dark Rap. <laughs> Yes, make it. Yes, just make make Ted make Ted suffer. What we care <laughs> about is making Ted suffer. Um, if you, if you want to have a, a, it is pretty much. Um, just uh, leave a, a, a leave a comment on this web zone, and we will go from there. We looks like we are currently sitting at one thousand five hundred. Oh no, what? Tell a lie. Looks like we just got 
a donation. Hooray. Here we go. We have Yay. We have a ten dollar donation, which brings up our total now to one thousand five hundred and eighty two dollars. Thank you guys so much. And it looks <coughs> like this from um uh, Lobotron. It says salutations. Here's a little donation you can put towards Portrait of Ruin. Question for TJ and FTA. What's your favorite design slash versions of Optimus Prime slash Primal and Megatron? Uh, TJ, I'm going to set up the uh, incentive thing if you want to answer that question first, bud. Okay. Um, so it was, it was of both Optimus and Megatron? Or was it, it was, just Optimus yeah. Prime? Yeah, it was, it was what are your favorite design slash versions of Optimus Prime, Primal, and Megatron? Yeah, Aquatic Ambient, such good music. Mm. Oh, the soundtrack in this game is fantastic. Yep. Yeah, I love it. I think my favorite version of Optimus is probably um, G1. Same. And then Primal, uh, I guess it would just be the normal Beast Wars one. I didn't watch a lot of Beast Wars. Still number, and then for still, Megatron, still number what, 89? <laughs> <laughs> um, and then Damn you, IGN! For Megatron, it would have to be the Armada version because he's a he's a tank with a with a big like, uh, like beetle helmet. I love that one. Uh, for me, it would be in terms of in terms of Prime himself. I, I would probably have to go with uh, G1 for Primal. I would probably again go with his uh, in terms of his robot mode at least his original season one design. For Megatron, I would actually go for the uh, Transformers Prime version. I think that design is amazing, and I think that in that version, Megatron is less incompetent. In, in Transformers Prime, Megatron doesn't retreat because of a fire at <laughs> Yeah. That's one, of, that's one of the lamest things in G1. Uh, it's just, it's circuit retarded foam, we have to retreat! Uh, personally, for me, it's just both the G1 designs, but those are the only ones I've really seen in action. Uh, G1's so good. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's weird though, because if, if you say that around Pokemon, people cry and call you stupid. But Ryan, how about you, sir? What, <laughs> <laughs> what, are, your favorite, uh, what are your favorite Transformers designs? I'm not a Transformers fan. Well, this stream's over. Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a crap. <laughs> oh, Transformers is so fun, though. <laughs> it uh, is. Whatever one's still wearing the Michael Bay movie. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, Ryan, you, you fucking dead to me now, son. <laughs> Mia, have you ever seen Have you ever seen the episode where they get drunk off Energon cubes? I can't remember. Oh my god, it's so good, man. So they just get, they just get trashed on energy on the Cybertron, land of the metal move. Is this and then, Gen 1? Yeah, it's in it, G1. It's, 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 it's an episode in season 2 called Microbots. Where oh, it's, okay. it's, it's just amazing because again, that's something, something you would never get that. Um, you would never get that in a show today. You would never get a yeah. cartoon where the Decepticons get shit faced. Well, like the best part of the whole thing is that um, the the Decepticons are all getting drunk, and then the uh, Autobots like start attacking them, and Megatron's like, "Decepticons attack!" And it shows <laughs> it, the camera pans over, and it shows Starscream and Soundwave, and they just fall over, and then Laserbeak just crashes into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> The best thing about Lazybeak is also he, he, um, whenever he flew, he used TIE Fighter sound effects. So you just get to hear like yeah. a TIE Fighter crash into the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Trend G1 you stole a lot of Star Wars sound effects. It's almost like, they had, it's almost like they had no budget. <laughs> well, also, you see, the thing is though, the, um, the, uh, the main an animation producer and the director of the 86 movie, Nelson Shin, was actually the animator who created the the, the look of the lightsabers. So there is kind of a there's kind of a oh, reason a, why I guess. Oh, he was a rotoscoper. You know, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not I'm not sure if he was a rotoscoper, but I know like in terms of like how the the basic design of how they looked, I'm pretty sure he um, no, no, that Nelson Shin was in charge of that. Although, unfortunately, Nelson Chin's animation company, Acom, is pretty, pretty terrible. Mm. Now, we, were, we were talking... We were talking about this last night, Gareth. Would you say that G1's probably, like, out of that that group of, like, classic 80s cartoons? Is G1, like, the best in terms of animation? Because, obviously, you hated G.I. Joe. G1 
I, I, to be fair, we only watched a handful, but uh, the, the, the thing about all, all those 80s shows like uh, G.I. Joe and Transformers and uh, Ninja Turtles and Thundercats and He-Man, is that the, the thing about that, though, is that, that those shows, my little pony, those shows were so farmed out, it, you'd have, like, certain episodes or certain, like, scenes within an episode would look really good, and then it would look really shit. I would probably say... Overall, uh, maybe G1 or Ninja Turtles probably look the best. Yeah. Like, like if you uh, on, on, on like an average of the entire series, because Ninja Turtles, uh, you know, I mean, like, a lot of episodes look like crap, but a lot of them look pretty decent, pretty good, even by uh, the today standards for um, you know, like uh, hand drawn TV for cartoons. Yeah. Yeah, we were we were at a friend's house last night watching GI Joe and. Um... Gareth was just in agony because he hated the animation so much. But that shows hilarious. The animation was. Every, was everyone conveniently has a like, parachute get... and it's only lasers. I know, right? <laughs> Which is this thing where like it's it's like missing frames. Like so many, mm. it's so it's so choppy. I mean, like the the, ah. the designs of all, all shows at that point had like you know kind of you know re relatively realistic looking humans and that stuff so like the character designs is just a product of the time it's like whatever but it's just like it's missing frames it's so badly edited the animation is just i mean uh, smoothies would have a heart attack watching something like gi <laughs> oh, joe oh god yeah. we gotta we gotta watch it then <laughs> I, we, we gotta we, we gotta, gotta tie them down clock current style i'm making more of some gi joe we at least gotta i just make him watch the episode where a cobra destroys all the money <laughs> like <laughs> I remember in the G1 uh, Transformers movie um, commentary on the D on the Blu-ray, and it's mostly just the guy pointing out animation mistakes the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you know, yeah, you know what? Um, was that? Yeah, that would have been Chris McFeely, and Chris McFeely is actually the reason one one of the reasons why FTCR is around. So if you hate FTCR, tweet at Chris McFeely and tell him you hate him. <laughs> and it looks it's like we have, okay, guys, we have a. <laughs> we have a, a few more donations. So um, now our total is one thousand six hundred and twelve dollars. I was waiting for my screen to refresh. So we have a ten dollar donation from Uncle Raf. It's his first donation, and probably my only one since I'm low on money. Please don't anyone feel bad about you know. It, obviously, we're here for charity, but you, you know, you gotta make sure you guys are taken care of first. You don't wanna. We don't, we don't want you guys needed charity by helping us make money for charity. That's just a never-ending cycle of badness. Uh, it says, loved last year's Nintendo film and hope this year will be as hype as it was. If you please, I want this to go for Johnny to run Castlevania Order of... Ecclesia. I can't pronounce that. Ecclesia. Ecclesia. That's a dumb name. It looks like... It. Shut up, TJ. You like the Clone Saga. I don't see how that's relevant here. <laughs> Does that mean you like episode two? No, one no, likes episode not two. not that Clone Saga. Oh, <laughs> he likes he likes the D nineties Clone Saga, which most people say is one of the worst things ever made. It is one of the worst things ever made. <laughs> not calling to TJ. That's your opinion. Well, you're wrong. So, <laughs> uh, okay, TJ, I'm, I'm gonna read this last comment, and then you have to tell your that's your opinion story. Uh, we have a $20 donation from my homeboy, Tom Carter. It says, Donkey Kong are some of my favorite games. Keep up the good work. Fave, I asked a question. Fave Donkey Kong games. Just put my money to pure dark evil path. And also, can you lot sing the DK rap? We're not playing 64. Uh, I'm going to so. add this, guys. What? Guys, what are you, uh, what are your favorite, what I get this done? What are your favorite uh, DK games? Uh, just a Super Nintendo 3 and that's it, really. I Same. love 64. Why? Oh god, TJ. <laughs> Stop having bad opinions, please. <laughs> That's just my MO at this point. <laughs> uh, Mia, what, what, what are yours? Uh, Donkey Kong Country games, really. Mine was, yeah, I love uh, Donkey Kong Country 1 and 2. 3, I like 3, I don't love it. In terms of favorite year, it would probably be 1 and 2. When I was a kid, I really liked 64, like TJ, but then I grew up and started having bad opinions. Um, but yeah, probably Donkey Country 1 and 2, and, um, I like it, I haven't finished it yet, but I'm having a lot of fun playing Tropical Freeze. Yeah, Tropical Freeze. Yeah, I like Tropical yeah. Freeze also. Yeah, you know, I, it's like, I, I, I liked, I was playing, um, Donkey Country Returns, but it just, it, Returns felt a bit too cheap in a, in a few places to me. Yeah. Um, 
But Tropical Freeze, that. I think Tropical Freeze, it's it's difficult, but it has like the Donkey Kong level of it, most times it's because of you. Yeah. yeah. Not so much the game screwing you over. So yeah, I like Tr Tropical Freeze. Although my only problem with Tropical Freeze is I hate that since Donkey Kong Country Returns, you can't have, you can't like select between characters in one player mode. It always has to yeah. be on DK spec. That's the only. If like if they make a third Returns game, let us do that. You know that. You know I want. I want to play Diddy properly. Damn it. Well, gotta make people play as DK somehow because he's the worst character in his own series. <laughs> <laughs> it is funny how in the Donkey Kong Country trilogy, Donkey Kong's only playable in one of those games. And he's the worst yeah. character of the of the four of them. <laughs> yep. Oh jeez. Oh jeez, Rick. Wait, he's even worse than the baby. Yeah. <laughs> what? Kitty can at least skip on water. Everything I know is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Gareth, you wanted me to tell my uh, that's oh, yeah, your opinion yeah, yeah. story. Please do. Please do. All right, so a couple of years ago, I went to Dragon Con, and uh, oh, just... Mark Bagley was there. And uh, if you don't know who Mark Bagley is, he did like the first hundred issues or, or so of art on Ultimate Spider-Man, and his art's you know highly regarded and everything. And uh, so I went to Dragon Con and I found him, and I was like, oh, you know, I think I'm gonna get a sketch from him because it was only like sixty dollars. And uh, only, <laughs> yeah. And uh, he was like. Uh, I asked him for a, a sketch of Mysterio, and he was like, he was like, uh, I don't think I'm, I can do that because I'm only doing head sketches, so it'll only be like a, a circle. Like a circle. It'll be a circle and um, maybe some shoulders. But yeah, like some shoulders. And I was like, I was like, oh, okay, I understand. So I asked him to draw um, the lizard. So the next day, I show up and I get uh, my sketch from him, and you know. I'm like, I'm like, oh, cool, thanks so much. And he's like, yeah, that's way better than Mysterio, isn't it? And I looked at him and I went, ah, well, that's your opinion. And I walked away. <laughs> <laughs> Get fucked, Mark Bagley. <laughs> the best, the like, the the best way to like finish this story is to talk about like the next time I met a really like a Spider-Man artist I really like, and it was when I met um, Ryan Stegman, and uh, I told him because I got him to draw me Mysterio. And uh, I told him about my interaction with Mark Bagley, and um, he was like, he was like, so you're telling me he wouldn't draw you Mysterio? Did he? Did he say why? And I said, well, he said it would only be a circle, and he also yeah. said he didn't bring a compass. And <laughs> Brian Stegman goes, Mark Bagley has to use a compass? What a hack! <laughs> Someone true. made a meme of Donkey Kong Country uh, with uh, Ryan's face pasted over Donkey Kong. Uh, I think Nathan over one of the zingers, me over another zinger, uh, Johnny over um, one of the beavers, uh, Carol over one of the snakes, Gareth over Rambi, ah. uh, uh, and TJ over, over Diddy. That's bullshit. That's <laughs> bullshit. Diddy's my favorite character. <laughs> Stefan over another zinger, and uh, MBM over, uh, I think it's a Kremlin. Ah. Okay, guys, so it looks like we have a... I'm sorry, but after you. Uh, an incredible 3D adventure in the Kingdom of Kong. One, it's not really a kingdom, and it's not 3D. Well, no, it's technically it was made in 3D. They just digitized well, 3D yeah. models. <laughs> yeah, I know. But still, it's 2D. <laughs> looks like we have another donation from a Jack Reed. Uh, says, here's my donation for this particular run. I'm doing it in honor of my cousin in Atlanta who suffers from kidney problems, but is getting better. So here's to uh, Jack Reed's cousins. Hope you get better, good sir. Mm -hmm. All of that. Doesn't say what, what gender you are, so I'll just say, feel better, please. Yeah. I, I always question, like, the... Uh, I mean, I know I know it, it's a video game, and it's a stupid thing for me to say, but I, I always question, like... Like, I don't get the logic of the stop-and-go station. Yeah, it's just, like it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. They're just very dedicated to the playground game. <laughs> Not a big fan of the music in the temples. I mean, it's all right. Like it's serviceable music. It's good. Like, but it's just I don't know. <laughs> I always. 
I always would have liked it if they would have maybe like re not remade it, but like uh, if if DK one had like the um, the like throwing ability that like DK two and three had. That would break it in some ways, though. That would be cool. But and again, like I can't see kind of like with um Dixie and Kitty, I can't really see Diddy throwing DK, but still. <laughs> yeah, right. You just don't have enough faith. I'm gonna smack you, TJ. Hurt Please you. Do. <laughs> so he's because, done it so know, many times before. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> So again, let's, we, we, may, we may as well, as well get this uh, conversation out of the way. Who here watched the Donkey Kong cartoons? Like maybe one or two episodes? I did. I yes, love man. it. Because you're you. It's it's so bad. It's amazing. <laughs> our, our, good fr our good friend Bobu got me the entire series on DVD last year for my birthday. Oh, uh, Chris did that. Why? It was Bobby. I'm pretty sure it was Chris. It was? Great job. Yeah. Got it. He, got it, he got it for both of us. No, 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 it was Bobby Logo. No, because Chris, no, Chris got it for you after Bobby bought it for me, you dope. <laughs> oh. A pity gift. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have no idea no what to buy this moot. He seemed to enjoy that Donkey Kong DVD game I've got last week. Here you go. <laughs> I remember I remember specifically last year, I got, I got both, like, bad, uh, considered bad, 90s video game shows, so I got both Donkey Kong Country and uh, the Ruby Studios Mega Man cartoon. Did I, oh, did, yeah. I did I get you the, the Mega Man DVD? Yeah, you did. I see. I want. I want to buy that for myself. I'm just as good or better than Mega Man. <laughs> my favorite, like my favorite thing about that first episode isn't that line, but it's when Proto Man takes Guts Man's power. He just gets a really big forearm. <laughs> Guess he got a lot of bad. I always remember the Donkey Kong uh, Country games as a kid being the first games I were I was familiar with to feature full full breaking and like to feature like the, the game company's own logo within the game. You know, like all the, all those giant bananas have like Nintendo yeah, on them. Yeah, Nintendo. And, and it, yeah, and it's just like I never like it was blow blow on my mind like what kind of kind of product placement is this? Like I'm I'm already playing your system, Nintendo. Why are you advertising to me in the game? <laughs> this game was I, crazy meta. <laughs> I just love Cranky Kong's like complaining. It's just like gamers today where he's complaining like they probably <laughs> use like half the memory on this screen alone. Cranky was like the original hipster game. It was like I could have done this in an hour without dying yeah. once. Do you guys like that um, that supposed theory that Cranky Kong is the original Donkey Kong from? It's not a theory. It's fact. It's not a theory. It's a fact. Yeah. Yeah. When was it confirmed? It, it, Nintendo had Nintendo confirmed it years ago, man. Awesome. The only the only thing that slightly changed, I think, is um, I swear when when, when I was a kid. Um, when, when, I, when I was a kid, like the, the Kong family tree, which is really dumb, and I wish NBN was here to talk about this more, because he knows it more than I do, but I swear back when this game first came out, in promotional material, they stated Diddy was DK's nephew, but now they're just friends. I think, yeah. it, does, it, does anyone else remember that? Because I swear, like, in, like, instruction manuals and, like, books, yeah, that, it would be, what, like, you know. Said back then. Yeah, it was his nephew, and then I believe... I believe also back then they said Cranky was DK's grandfather because yeah. it confused me because it, because in Donkey Kong 64 Cranky refers to DK as his son, and as a kid I was like I I, I thought he was the grandfather. What's going on now? What's going on? The deepest floor. Brian, <laughs> hold me. I'm not. What's going on? <laughs> Last night we were talking about the Duck family tree, and Gareth was getting super confused, like the Disney <laughs> Duck family. No, family because tree. Jack. You know why? Because Jack was like Jack. I was saying stuff, and Jack was like, that can't be true. I was like, it's just, just fucking, that's how it works. I think Scrooge the best part was when I was when I told you that uh, Scrooge has to be Donald's, um, like, maternal uncle. And you were like, what? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Donald's I, I, last I, name isn't McDuck. Yeah, but he, he, just, he just took that off. So he wouldn't sound pretentious. 
Donald, not one. You're full of it. <laughs> this guy this is, is very people. MBM. MBM knows what about the uh, the duck law in uh, in our DuckTales Remastered LP. Plug, 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 plug. The MBM MBM goes over some of the more the weirder aspects of the the uh, duck family tree. And then, speaking of speaking of the dev, MBM's in the chat. Hey, MBM. Yeah. DK was literally MBM a monkey. Getting the call. Ah, uh, MBM getting the call and and, and will kick out uh, TJ because as as a uh, as Nathan said in the chat, TJ has no right to be here. Oh, I agree. <laughs> so Ryan, uh, good sir, when when did you first play this? Did you, did you play this when it, like first came out on the uh, Super Nintendo, or did you like did you rec did you discover it later? Still have life? still have my Super Nintendo card from '94. Nice. Yeah, I had it on my brother's Super Nintendo growing up. Yeah, I never, I didn't own this game until I was, um, until I was a teenager, but I know, like, I had a friend who lived nearby who had, like, all three of them, and every time I went over there, all I wanted to do was just play DK. Because, <laughs> um, it's just because, you know, kind of, back in the day, I, I think this is an issue that kind of, that, uh, annoyed Miyamoto. I, like a lot of people, was sucked in by the graphics, not, not, not to say for a second, that DK is a bad game, or like it has bad controls, mm. but obviously the, the graphics at the time were fucking mind blowing. Yeah. You know? DK was, I mean, um, Miyamoto was just jealous that someone actually made a good game using his property that wasn't his. <laughs> yeah. I'm still amazed that, that this game exists, that the graphics. It's so it good. still looks pretty good today, like. It, it does, you know, there's, there's the 3DS games that don't look this good <laughs> being released now. I remember being a kid and say and like thinking that this was like real life. <laughs> they actually got two two um they got a yeah. gorilla in a chip. <laughs> Mia Mia woke up and thought the planet of the apes had come true. <laughs> you blew it up. You blew up DK Island, you maniacs! Well we're also apparently a we're also apparently an Ewok village, so. Oh yeah. Oh. Get your hands off me, you damn dirty dong! <laughs> uh, TJ, <clears throat> uh, uh, do you want me to add MBM? He says it's okay. Well, Ryan, Ryan, I... Ryan is running the game, but do you want MBM to join? Right. Or are you happy with, with four people as it is? I don't give a shit. <laughs> you heard Ooh. the man. That the king of MBMs. So Ryan, you, you were saying a little bit earlier about you know Miyamoto was you know annoyed someone took a one of his properties and, and did it better. Did you read, wasn't there a quote recently where he was asked like, "What's the most underrated Wii U game?" and he was like, "Star Fox Zero. Oh my okay. God, seriously! That guy has massive. Are you kidding that me? That guy has really bad eco problems sometimes. I mm. mean, like, I mean, to to a certain extent, it's like he, he's he's. You can make the case he's kind of you know, he's kind of earned that right. He definitely has. Happened. By the same time, it's one of those. He's, especially lately, he's been more, kind of been more wrong than right lately, so. He was more yeah. wrong than right back in the day, it's just people actually had the balls to tell him no. Yeah. Now that he has seniority, he gets away with all his bad decisions. Mm -hmm. You guys want to remember yes. Ocarina Time in first person? Yeah, oh. that was his idea. Oh my god! <laughs> or it being just Mario 64 again. Well now, what, Dick? Ocarina of Time was just gonna be Mario 64? Yeah, it's just going to be like, going into p different paintings to uh, solve yeah. different dungeons. They, <laughs> they, they, they couldn't do it. They didn't want to do a full world map, so what they decided was to do the hub world with telepa teleporting portraits. Again, like they, they yeah. would, they would. They yeah, because he thought it was he thought it was a great idea, but again, because he didn't have this like irrefutable fucking ego, people were like, you know, that's a really fucking dumb idea. Let's not. And so they didn't. But now he walks into a room. It's like you know, you know this Twilight Princess game. I think it could use a bit more shit in the beginning. Don't you agree? Well, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Let's get on that. <laughs> so remember, so whenever someone has a fucking stupid idea, just tell them no. It doesn't matter who they are. Just say no to fucking stupid ideas. Uh, MBM, like y you say that, but let's not forget you're a speedrunner. So what do you know? <laughs> 
Uh, I know all about bad ideas. My life is literally <laughs> Since conception, bad idea from the get-go. So, Gareth, speaking of uh, Star Fox Zero, did you tell anybody about my uh, my first reactions to playing that? I forget. I forget. Is I... weren't you just like angry the entire time? Yeah, I was. I was so mad. <clears throat> it's a frustrating game. It is. It's so frustrating. I the literally just picture TJ. For no reason. TJ, I can just picture you going, "Oh my god! Oh my god!" <laughs> I mean, it's, it, I mean, it, it's it's kind of it's a weird thing where like, um, most of the positive reviews were like, yeah, five hours into the game, I finally got how the controls work. It's like that's that's not really. I, I don't want to waste five hours wondering what the fuck I'm doing before just oh. before I complete it. I'm like, oh, I get the controls now. Oh, but Final Fantasy 13 gets good 15 or 30 hours in. That's if you don't understand the combat system, but okay. Oh no, it's the crap. What? What? Here we go. <laughs> it's time to stop. Miyamoto, where are your parents? I'm calling your parents. <laughs> so Ryan, what do you like so much about Donkey Kong Country anyway? Just a really tight, well done platformer. Candy sticks. <laughs> and, platformers. and platformers are just kind of my genre of choice, so. E. Good man, good man. You did. Yeah, good man, TJ. You only beat Sonic Adventure 2 like two days, four days before <laughs> It was three, thank you. And the only reason he did that was because I, for like three weeks before that, I was mocking him, saying that his opinion meant nothing because he had completed the game. <laughs> so he felt, he felt compelled to try and finish it now, the now, 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 Gareth. TJ's opinion still doesn't matter. It doesn't because 100 piece and SA1's better. Go <laughs> suck it, TJ. <laughs> I Sorry. thought it was because TJ was just an intern. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of some other, like, like really bad things that I've done, like not like not finished game. Oh, I didn't beat I didn't beat Banjo Kazooie for the first time until I was like twenty two. Can we <laughs> add breathing to the list? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would I would I would have loved it if, if like on, on those banana things they of, of the three of them and, and there's the one with the arrow pointing down which made out of bananas. If that one was at the bottom of this pit and the other two had stuff down there. Yeah. Just the fuck with you. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. That's some, that's something a Kaiser <laughs> Kaiser game would do. Yeah. Well, let, let's see. Gareth, would you consider that to be a very British British thing to do? As Donkey Kong Country is a very British game. Mm -hmm. Damn straight. That's why this game's so fucking good. Good. Good shit. Is that like, why is that, why, is that why Rare is completely awful these days? Well, because it, oh, that's, that's none of the original that's, people. That's Microsoft. It's, 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 it's still right. British. That's not decided to buy an entire fucking company whose strength was really platformers, but, you know, they just really didn't want to release a shitty shooter. And so Microsoft was like, you know, we're going to make a console, and it's going to be the greatest shooter console of all fucking time. Let's buy those GoldenEye guys. And then when they bought the GoldenEye guys, and they weren't making a financial return, and they just kept throwing projects at them, and they weren't making fucking money, eventually you're like, you know what? Take this, you won't break it, make us some fucking money, and that's when you have all the <laughs> all the fucking Xbox sports games. Uh, Ryan, yeah, wake up, Ryan. sheeple. Ryan, the reason why it's so the reason why it's so bad is because uh, it was bought by an American company, and America ruined everything. Fuck you! <laughs> you pussy! <laughs> I was gonna ask MBM a question, but he went on his rant, and I forgot what I was gonna say now. Good, good, yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm reevaluating a lot of things right now. <laughs> <laughs> I love this level because it has a nice background. You mean that gradient? <laughs> I thought you liked this level because you wanted to fuck all the Kremlins. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Shut up, MBA. They're crocodiles. I don't like crocodiles. <laughs> oh, what's wrong with crocodiles? That's me. Yeah, that's Scaly. racist. What yes, did, it is. What an intolerant furry. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have fur. They have scales. He's talking about you, you idiot. Oh. It's 
It's all meat on you, <laughs> so I'm talking about the crab things. Now, is this the first appearance of Lanky Kong? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Do a handstand, you misface shaping fuck. <laughs> I still can't lanky. believe Aaron was all kinds of mad when we were saying that he was the Lanky Kong of our DK crew. <laughs> <laughs> when was that? Do you remember like a long ass time ago? <laughs> I think I. What, what was it? I said that. Oh, fuck. It was either Chris or TJ. Because I said, Gareth, you were DK, and one of them was Tiny Kong. Because it's essentially Donkey Kong, but not. So it's like, because you were said they're essentially just the Gareth, but not. That's That, that was probably TJ. I think. <laughs> I think Smoothies was Diddy. Can I be Dixie? Yeah. No, because, hold on, because it was Mi Miwa, we said it was Candy Kong because she's the smallest, and for no other reason other than that. <laughs> you, mean, you mean Tiny Kong? Tiny it's Candy yeah. Kong. Nope. And then, shit. I, I don't even remember who. It, all I know is that Aaron was so mad to be Lanky, <laughs> and I, that, that's so disappointing. <laughs> Why would you not want to be the Lanky Kong of our DK crew? Yeah, no, seriously. I see. I mean, I mean, I remember, I remember when um, DK64 came out, and like me and my brother would play like the multiplayer in the game. My brother always favored Lanky for some weird reason. It's a good Kong. Okay, guys, it looks like we have. It's a good Kong. It looks like we have a bunch of uh, new donations. We have two dollars from the crazy Evan. I was gonna save my daily donation until later, but now that Mexi is even. here, hot. Oh. Uh, even I don't give a shit. Anyway, uh, I'm just joking. Anyway, happy to see more um, Dong expanding with Mia slash MBM bitch fests, and <laughs> donate my money as a result. Hope you're having fun, Ryan. Ryan, are you having fun, good sir? I was. <laughs> <laughs> was until the game started uh we have five bucks from robert reb hey guys great job of yesterday and to a successful day two doing a great run ryan keep it up this game alongside donkey kong country 2 are up there as my favorite game of all time question for all of you what are your favorite music pieces from the trilogy ps get nathan in the stream if he's able to we need his dk uh love, love life, life. And also put my five bucks towards pure dark evil path. Kiss, kiss, Ted. Okay, guys. Um, Brian, what would say your favorite track scenario in the Donkey Kong Country series? Um, Aquatic Ambience, Bramble Blast, and uh, uh, whatever the uh, pirate one in the beginning of DKC2 and the final boss here. Lockjaw Saga. Yeah, that's it. Mm. Okay, uh, Mia, how about you? Uh... From Donkey Kong Country 1, um, Fear Factory and the final boss theme, as well as Minecart Madness. Uh, from the second game, um, uh, mine sh uh, Mining Melancholy, I think it's called. Yep, uh, and, Melancholy. Uh, and um, uh, the Lava Level theme, can't remember its name. Uh, oh, see, I just love the whole soundtrack to DKC2. And from mm. Donkey Kong Country 3, um, uh, I guess the, you know, the ones from like the first levels, I don't really remember its soundtrack all that well. TJ, how about you? Um, I like the Donkey Kong rap. <laughs> <laughs> Donkey <laughs> Kong 64. I get this guy. How about, how about you? Um, shit, I can't remember. It's the Abyss theme in DKC1. Um... That one in Aquatic Ambience, duh. Um, Mining Melancholy, Lockjaw Saga, Final Boss of DKC1 and DKC2. Oh, those, yeah. are, those are really underrated, are the, the Final Boss themes. Oh, hell yeah. Um, especially Gangplank Galley. Galley and Mud, that, that anytime people remember that, it's, it's a good dig. <laughs> um, I don't really know about DKC3. I, I'll admit that I have not given DKC3 an honest try. And I don't know. May maybe someday. I I'm not making any promises. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like in, in DKC1, I like the um, opening level. Was it Jungle Hijinx? Jungle Jeep. Jungle Jeep. I love that track. I love uh, the, the boss rush, the boss theme. Um, K. Rule's uh, theme in one. And two, I love the uh, the map theme. That, that, that like pseudo violin sounds so fucking good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I love that track. That the, the the opening level track. I love the um, 
I love uh, again uh, K. Rule's theme in Donkey Kong Country Two is one of my favorite boss, th- like final boss themes in video game history. Yep, mm-hmm. I think that track is so sad. Again, like MBM, you know, I, I played through Donkey Kong Country Three as a kid and I, I enjoyed it, but I, I don't remember any tracks from it. I'm afraid. So um, sorry about that. Nathan could probably name all of them. I think they could. <laughs> so it looks like we have another donation. And let's see what it says we have for. I'll oh, stop doing that. I want to read my screen. Wait, there, once I had to refresh my screen, it's messing up. Oh. Okay, so we have a uh, donation from uh, Malictory. says, I used to own a really glitched out SNES, and odd things would occur when I played it at other games. For example, when I jumped into a barrel in this game, they would shoot me into the floor. When I tried playing Donkey Kong Country 3, the first level wouldn't load completely, and I was stuck swimming in the water forever without platform. But the oddest was Mario World. I played through the first world and I accidentally hit my console. So the screen blanked out and all that played in the background was Vanilla Dome's theme. <laughs> Ooh, haunted cartridge. Creepy pasta out of it. Yeah, we, we, need to, we need to get Elliot on here so we can uh, record a creepy pasta of it. <laughs> I used to be so bad because at this level as a kid. Same. Because if there's one thing demons are just waiting to possess when they get back to the live world, it, it's fucking video games. Have you not seen Paranormal Activity 4 MBM? They take control of a Kinect, okay? There's precedent, really? there's precedent for doing that. Are you serious? You what, what, what about Freddy Krueger? Yeah, Freddy Krueger kills someone with a fucking power glove, man. You know, and um, I can't remember if they take control of the Kinect, but a Kinect is used. Yeah. As a as a plot point in Paranormal Activity 4. Golly. Yeah. Ah. Well, you see, ghosts have to take over um, games consoles, otherwise um, game reviewers would have no material to use for their Halloween episodes. I ain't no ghost. <laughs> <laughs> but also, it would it would actually make the most sense that a ghost would take control of a uh, of an Xbox device, because as we all know, they're just all tools of the devil. <laughs> <laughs> Look, six, know, I, six, I, six, the console so, of the beast. Now you kids are Sony all into for your, life. Yeah, boy. Now you kids oh, nice are all, all into your dank memes and such, but do you guys know what the dankest meme of all is? Accepting Satan. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's not MBM. Satan, it's Satine. <laughs> Satan, Satan is not a meme. He's a lifestyle choice. And I will not have you disrespect him on this stream. Actually, uh, it's not a choice. <laughs> <laughs> when you accept Satan, you were just born that way. <laughs> one of my uh, one of my favorite jokes from Adventureland is uh, the part where they uh, they look and they see someone spray painted "Satin lives" instead of uh, "Satan lives," <laughs> and uh, one of them goes, "Must be one of those crazy textile cu- uh, uh, cults." <laughs> I hate that movie. We. So, MBM, because you're here, because you you would most likely know, where does the uh, where did the expand dong uh, meme come from? Probably SRG for all I fucking know, because I those guys are real big fans of uh, the meme where you take a picture and then you put the text and you put the text on the bottom of the image. So probably some shit like that. <laughs> So, like, with most memes, 4chan. There you go. It's like, you usually only have, like, two choices. Did it come from 4chan? Yes, no, and that's it. Who's our- who's- who's supposed to be our curator of memes, then? Twix Mix. No, your memes. Oh, well. Yeah. Know your memes. <laughs> I- I- I always wondered how accurate that website is, or if it's just people making shit up. No idea. <laughs> Memes website aim complete bollocks. Can you even really trust a website that calls itself Scoops? <laughs> or Scopes. Hagadas. <laughs> Hagadas. Uh, Scoops. 
Wait, yo, oh, look, I love that video so much. Thank <laughs> you. Dude, Yipes is the best. <laughs> yipes is so good. What's wait, What's Yipes? Yipes is a uh, fighting game community commentator, and he always just gets super, super enthused by whatever match he's commentating. <laughs> and so there's a there's one video from like an old commentary that he was doing where he just goes off. It's like, where's your curly mustache at? Oh shit, he's repping that that orange Sentinels for fucking Lakers. And just it, it, it just generated a shit ton of fighting game community memes. It was um, go it was Marvel vs. Capcom two, and yeah, there's this there's this part where uh, the guy who's the guy who's like, he's getting like super big combo. He's playing as Magneto and um. Or no, he was playing as Sentinel, wasn't he? Yeah, it's, like guys, it's... guys, what, wait, what, one second. Um, apparently, people in the chat are saying that the, uh, sh the streams getting uh, very laggy and choppy. <sighs> well, I'm not getting any dropped frames. <laughs> Should have ordered it whole then. <laughs> Should have ordered a small pizza. Um, yeah, I have no dropped frames. I'm not. So. I'm Interesting. I'm um, guy. I, I would. I would just recommend if that's happening, maybe just try refreshing the um, refreshing your page. Yeah. And see if that, that fixes anything. Alternatively, Twitch could be shitting the bed. Yeah. Yes. Because uh, of course, unfortunately. Possible. Yeah. You know, we we are still uh, fighting against. Is it? Uh, I forget. Is it Summer Games done quick? No, I think they're yeah. done. Apparently, on. That's over. That, that ended last night. So hold on. Let's see if there's any. Oh, really? I, I, thought, uh, I, I thought it was probably dealing with League of Legends. Nope, actually, it's a CSGO. That's why I figured. Ah, uh, Counter-Strike. Oh, God. I found this really cool website, I swear I don't own it. It's called CSGOBets.com. <laughs> <laughs> that juicy drama. Thank you, Mia. Ah, oh, good, good show. Good show. It's a good show, chap. Just love that. Um, <laughs> Uh, well, apparently, some people are saying some people are saying it's been lagging since the beginning. Huh. Well, you know, also somebody, I think somebody in in the chat said it's not lagging. I think it's just uh, I'm not sure. If it, it may just be an internet, some maybe your own personal it. internet thing. Right, yeah. Oh. So TJ, I want to ask you, as someone who knows about the Kamek books. How do you feel about the Kamek books that have Colonel Sanders? What? What? Oh yeah, DC Did made you... a Colonel Sanders comic book. Yeah, you ain't seen the Colonel Sanders comic books? No! That sounds <laughs> awesome, though! I think, like, they have to make one every year, like, as part of some licensing thing. You know, like, how Fox has to make X-Men movie whether they want to or not every year or some shit? Here, I I I'm gonna put it right there, the, the Skype call. There you go. Oh boy, here we go. Then, you know, there was an image. There was an image I saw, like, I want to say like five or six years ago, uh, where it was like it was like a fighting game, but all of the characters were um, like fast food mascots. That sounds great. I love it. And I, I've always wanted that <laughs> as, as a comic or like a, an actual fighting game. I love that. This is this is. Produced by DC Comics. It is. <laughs> Detective Comic Comics. Wonderful bastards. So what do you think, TJ? So mine. <laughs> you know what? Before I even clicked this link, I was hoping that it was like Sonic Generations, but with Colonel Sanders. It and kind that's of exactly is. what I got. <laughs> it's exactly <laughs> what it is. It's Colonel Sanders across the multiverse. <laughs> There's even one Colonel Sanders where he is a chicken. <laughs> oh god. Does that does that Colonel Sanders eat people? That's why I figured they need fried people. <laughs> so Ryan, you're a, you're you're kind of uh big on the Kamex as well, and I know from conversations with, with you and Ted that you are a more of of a DC chap. Mm -hmm. Um what are your what are your thoughts then? I haven't been able to read too much of it or any of it really. I picked up a few books, but uh, what are your thoughts on Rebirth so far? Um, I'm waiting for trades at this point because I was just kind of like, I have no idea how this is going to be, so I'm just kind of waiting to see the reaction first. Because 
after they announced it, I'm like, okay, I'm just done with floppies forever at this point because that just pissed me off. Yeah, I'm I'm starting to go that way. I mean, there's, there's a few books that I, I want to get each month, but generally, yeah, I'm waiting for trades for a lot of stuff. What's now. a trade? The... A trade is something that Archie Comics never releases. But, yeah. uh, oh, God. <laughs> the comic companies that actually give a damn will normally uh, collect single bound issues into one trade usually, and release usually those. Of, usually of one story arc. Ah, uh, yes. fair one. I like um, the thing, nice. the thing that sucks about buying books and trade is that um, as of recently, I've had to look at, I've had to watch the numbers a little bit to decide what I'm going to buy in trade because companies won't wait for um, trade sales and they won't really factor that into. Um, like a whether a series is successful or not. Yeah. So, like, if a book if a book is kind of like on the cusp of of being canceled, I'll, I usually end up going yeah. back to floppies to, and then I'll, I'll like I'll sell them later once I buy the trade. Hmm. That's that, that's why before worlds um, collide, I was just collecting trades of of Mega Man. I was really enjoying it, but I, I was like, I haven't read. Um, all the previous stuff, so I'm, I'm a slight bit lost, but um, after, you know, speaking to Ian, he was like, Mega Man isn't doing, it's doing okay, but not amazingly, we could do better than that. That's when I was like, okay, I'll start buying single issues, but um, as we all know, they didn't really do a damn thing. Yeah, because you're one person. <laughs> Thank you, Archie. Oh, one person, one person more is buying Mega Man, it's officially doing well. <laughs> now six people are buying it, hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Trades of Jughead all over the place. <laughs> That's, you know what? It's been 18 months since the Sonic trade, but like before issue 7 of Jughead was out, a trade featuring the first six issues was on the shelves. Yep. Ar Archie really loves, you know, Archie. And that, that's, that's great. That's their, that's their characters. That I get that. That's perfect. I have no problem. With them, you know, obviously, obviously favoring their own characters, that's fine. It makes it makes more of a business sense. That's perfectly fine. You have but other, you have like other spent, products, though. Yeah, it's just like, but you've spent the last. If you're not gonna, if you're not gonna, at well, least give give even half the respect you give to the the, the Riverdale brand oh. as you will to your licensed properties, give it to a company who will give it to IDW. They will release trade well, in a timely manner. Sorry, I like. I think I had a minor stroke or something. Were you talking about Archie Comic there or Sega themselves? Both. <laughs> <laughs> I see the thing. Like, I mean, yeah, I realize I already said that comic companies don't really take trade sales into consideration at all. But like, the Sonic trades sold pretty good, so I'm not really seeing like any real like beneficial business decision on their part where they're just like, ah, we have no reason to release these. Timely. More people I know it, get well, trades of the Sonic stuff than floppies. Yeah, well, see, the, the thing was at at the time, like a year ago, when they were having when they were having their money issues, I was like, I mean, obviously they, they won't come out and say this, but it was like, okay, I, I get for the time being, they you know they have to um they have to uh, you know uh, yeah they have to money pinch manage their money better. Obviously, you know that's why they cancelled. Uh, Mega Man and and Boom to to produce Jughead and he's like whatever. But it's the fact that they're clearly doing better. Now, they even took out that 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 small loan of like a million dollars or whatever to like <laughs> have a company. Copy they up. they had the, they have the you know the Archie reboot's doing great. You know Jughead selling well. You know they have their their better you know, Veronica book coming out soon. They have you know Sabrina and after that they have that TV. Yeah. If the TV, yeah, the if TV, the TV show coming. does well, that'll make them a shitload of money. Like that's an absolute shitload. If Riverdale do, is successful, they'll make so much money from that. And they apparently have like a movie in the works. You know, they have um, the Josie and the the, the Pushy Cat book coming out soon. So they obviously they have money to, to spend on this. And also the like a thousand variants for every single fucking issue. I'm just oh. like, you know, for the last like b b before the reboots, and if if we exclude Afterlife of Archie, just because that was like it's a mini series and the uh, release schedule was so erratic for that. Really, Sonic the Hedgehog was the backbone of that company. In terms of trades, in terms of single issues, Sonic always sold the best, bar none. Except for like, oh, yeah. except for stunt issues like in Life of Archie when Archie died, or again. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Sorry. You know. Sorry. Yeah, when, when, it when Archie seems so, so mature and hardcore. With the, they're what? They're high schoolers. 
No, no, no. Life of Archie was like Archie in like his like thirties, and he's like married and shit. Oh, so they, end, they ended that. They ended that series with. Um, there, there, there was two of them. There was like like um, Archie marries Betty and Archie marries Veronica, and both series ended at the same time. No, no, no. They were they were different books. So like a, a universe where he married Betty and a, and a universe where he married Veronica. So and those. They, they literally had a time split. It, they comic? had they had a multiverse. Yes. That's, that's kind of. Um, Sure. Uh, yeah. I, 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 would, then, I, would, I would read Archie. I would read Archie version red and Archie version Archie version blue. But then, uh, yeah. So all that happened. But then for like a good four or five years, Sonic was their backbone, and it, it just feels like uh, like they've they've kind of exploited the popularity. Not exploited because you know the, the book itself was good. It just feels like they kind of coasted on 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 that book for a while, and then they're just like, eh, fuck it, we don't need that anymore. We're just gonna, uh, you know, yeah, get, get Gareth. Nathan said to check Skype, Gareth. Okay, let's see what Nathan said in Skype. Oh, Nathan, I love you too. Um, okay. you know, he's saying, apparently Ryan, the stream is getting getting really bad. He's suggesting, can we check the bit rate and have you just restart the stream? Okay, I'll, want me to restart? Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Okay. So guys, we'll, we'll be back in just a few moments. Okie dokie. Take a boo-boo break. Yeah. I'll be right back. Okay, let's see. All right, everyone, we're back. Everything sound good to everyone? Uh, that's a lot smoother. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, dude, that that looks a lot better now. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm glad we got that figured out. <laughs> let's play a video game. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have the same reaction. So anyway, back to complaining about Archie comics. Did you guys ever watch uh, that one show where it was like the Archie crew, but they were solving like mysteries? Archie's weird mysteries. Archie's weird mysteries. That's so good. <laughs> Wasn't that show great? I, yeah. Even though it was exactly the same as Totally Spies, which was exactly the same as Martin Mystery. But it was My Archie's favorite. weird mysteries. Yeah, that my, one. My favorite thing about about that though is that occasionally the Archie Twitter account will like will like uh, have a glyph, I, I, sorry, a glyph, a gif of that show. But they yeah. always use me a fuck Civil War, fuck you. Um, me, you would probably you would probably get this reference. They always have they always use the one from the English satellite channel pop because they have the yeah, station yeah, yeah. the station watermark in the corner. It's like even the fucking company who owns the IP doesn't Can't have get a clean, clean version. versions yeah. of those. I know, right? <laughs> that made me laugh so hard when I noticed that. that they it was even... released on DVD though. I have DVDs of it. It's like they don't even they can't even get it from an American station, a, a English TV station yeah. for it. <laughs> oh shit, fam, we subtweeting. Yes, yeah, yeah, fam. Short for family. <laughs> I say we say that as we just murdered Lanky Kong again. <laughs> oh, you made TJ cry. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> TJ, I was I was just looking for the bus stop. You're the worst. Good. You're the best at being the worst. Gareth can't possibly be the worst. He didn't make Mighty Number no. Nine. Ba, 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 it's better than nothing. <laughs> Even though that was technically a mistranslation, he'll never leave that. He'll never, yeah, he'll never live that down. Yeah. Because the well, mistranslation it, it, just it's, works it's so quote, much more. It's a quote for the game in general. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it validates my anger at pixelated art. Hey, Mighty Number no. 9 was art. <laughs> Your art. Hashtag, hashtag number 9 is art. Hashtag TJ is art. No. <laughs> wow, Mia, you're the one who makes shitty hashtag about why a fucking purple tail, but you won't give TJ one hashtag to say he's art? You're a terrible friend. Go kill yourself. Okay. Jesus Christ, that beer! Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Save darkness, my old friend! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yes, TJ! <teacher>, yes. 
Spe speaking of that, I wanted to ask Ryan, I I'm not sure if we'd ever spoken about this, what are your thoughts on Batman v Superman? It's not very good. <laughs> that man knows. That's there the most, that's the most, like, professional opinion I've ever heard on that movie. I mean, there there are parts of it I do enjoy, but they're, it, they're, just, they're just parts, not, as a complete narrative, it's kind of bad. Do you actually, I, I, I don't, I don't uh, know too many ways to break games, but one thing I do know is the, I forget, is, is, are we in the world where you fight the giant, uh, yeah. drum? Yeah. Drum. Yeah. yeah, bust up, Rob. The the one way I know how to break the game, which I don't recommend, is because you have to restart to continue. But if you go in, if you go into the boss of this world with just one Kong, if you jump over the DK barrel, the uh, the boss will kind of do his thing where he kind of hits the ground a few times, and then his sprite will merge with the DK barrel, and if you then break it, the second Kong comes out, and the boss will disappear. And the game will be stuck on that on that uh, screen until you turn it off. Well, I you know this nice. this version does have save state, so I can always try it. Oh, dude, try that, try that. Well, it it may or may not work because I I don't know if that's a version. It's uh, per, yeah, it's a 1.0. Yeah. Well, we can always yeah, give it, we, we, all, we can give it a few yeah, shots. Try it, try it. Because because I do know that uh, when it comes to the Donkey Kong games, and I know the uh, N64 Zelda games, all uh, VC versions of that game are 1.2 yeah um but um for like everything else that doesn't even matter because hell even the uh, map warp is in all versions of donkey kong country map warp yeah yeah um the way you do it is that you throw on the first level you gotta beat it because you need to be able to move to the second level you throw the barrel and you throw the dk barrel and then you pause the game exit the level while the barrel is in mid-air so the game is kind of in this half state where it's like, well, you did throw the barrel, but I'm not the barrel sure didn't if you did. break. It's like, so I don't know how many Kongs you actually have. So that kind of messes with the game. And then when you go down to the next level, there is a, there's an angle where yeah. DK like changes direction and you have to mash a, because if you hit it on a certain frame while the DK on that uh, point of the angle, he teleports to a level in world three, I believe. I used to do that by <laughs> accident as a kid. He, he, he teleports to the sunset level, essentially. <laughs> you can do that. Um, there's also... Because that, that whole thing of like throwing the barrel fucks with the game a lot. Because I believe that's also how you start the glitch. Where if you get a Rambi, you yeah, can great switch... Kong. Yeah, you switch Rambi sprite with Donkey Kong sprite. And you so know DK Donkey Kong has DK. that... DK can ride DK, and of course you can have DK do the jump animation, which involves DK thrusting his hips for us. So you can have DK horrendously violating himself. I, I like where this is going. My, my, my thing what always annoyed me was, because I would always, because I'm obviously team, hashtag team Diddy, I, I would want to complete every level with Diddy so that Diddy really owned DK Island. But for some reason, like, when you start the game, there's that one level with, like, that DK clears. But you can't get into it. That still yeah. annoyed the crap out of me as a kid. I that's was actually, like, that's only in the North American version, too. That's not in the Japanese. What the fuck? Yeah, I, I well, don't it's, know. Well, it's, it's, it's also in the PAL version, because obviously I grew up playing the PAL version. So I was like, why, what the fuck is, is this there for? It's not a level. Don't give Donkey Kong credit for shit he didn't do. Well, it's his house. Yeah. <laughs> So they I'll just threw that, that extra map icon, but yeah, you should always have Diddy. Diddy is the best character in not even his own game. Yeah. Even in games that Diddy is not in, he's still the best character, such as DKC3. Yep. Yeah, my, my, my favorite, one of my favorite images, it's that um, image of the uh, Smash 4 character select screen everything with the country of yeah, origin. Everything, every, everything is Japanese except for Diddy, which is British. <laughs> hey! Baby, best character in the game. And I just love how the comments anytime that gets posted is like, "But little Max American." It's like, "But it's made by God." Are you guys fucking stupid or something? It's like Mario's Italian, but he's still made in Japan. He's from Brooklyn. He's from, he's from the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> he's from Bowser. <laughs> <laughs> the Koopalings and I have invaded Brooklyn. the Mushroom Kingdom. Like, you yeah, have three days. Yeah. My favorite video I, I, I saw once, it was like someone took the opening to Hotel Mario 
and Team Sonic. Sonic Heroes, and they just, they just split, they just changed the audio. So Tails gives Sonic the letter that it's from Bowser. The Koopalings and I have invaded the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> and then ho and then in Hotel Mario, he gets the letter. Because guess what, Sonic Heroes? Heroes. <laughs> in three days, I'll conquer the world. Think you can stop and me? You've got to help us. <laughs> If nothing else, at least he set some self-time goals. If I were to conquer world, I would just kind of play it by ear. It's like, what time do you expect the world to be conquered? Uh, next week sometime? I don't know. There's also, and this is this is a dumb thing, but like in uh, the timeline of Sonic Heroes makes no sense. By world <laughs> timeline. By by like zone three, they're already on the last day. <laughs> yeah. You know, it doesn't make and then like, but then you, you you have to when you get to Mystic Mansion, that's another day. So really, they're late. But then they use the Song of Time to get three more days. I'm getting real sick of your shit, MBM. <laughs> I, th I think all of us can agree that when when the day, uh, Nintendo makes a new Donkey Kong game, they really have to import uh, Buster with the uh, <laughs> Barrel Factory. Yeah. Ryan, what was your favorite? What, what was your favorite song from the uh, DK cartoon? Dude, I watched two episodes and that was like 15 years ago. I don't fucking remember. <laughs> so you're saying your favorite song was the one where DK gets kicked out and laments the fact that he's no longer anyone's hero. I agree. Oh. That's, a good song. That's a good song. I'm Not nobody's one. hero. What's the one? What's the one with um, where the the Yeti? Like, he's the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just love how that starts, where Donkey Kong's like, What are we gonna do? And the Yeti goes, Uh, Baby. go out for snow cones? <laughs> Welcome to the Himalayas! Duck House theme plays. Do, 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 do. Fancy Car is obviously best song, guys. No, the best one is is second banana is all I am when uh, in the same episode where DK gets exiled. Wait, wait, wait. Second, is it second Crystal. banana parentheses? Now I am close parentheses all, or, or what? I, <laughs> I don't know, but, but the, the crystal coconut claims that Diddy's the new like head like future ruler of Congo Bongo, or Congo whatever the fuck is Congo Jungle, whatever it's called. And like he's he's like he's like swinging on the vines with this really bad. But, like you know what's fucked up though the. Uh, Voice actor for Diddy in the Donkey Kong Country cartoon voiced Yoshi in the Super Mario World cartoon. Oh, Jesus. As they should. Yoshi love bombs! Fire yum. And here I was hoping for a nice salami sandwich. <laughs> and he just keeps singing like, sir, okay, bananas all like, ah, but this. It's like Sonic Underground level of singing. It's just so bad. <laughs> What'd you say, Ryan? Baby too? Huh? What did you say before I rudely interrupted? Oh, just quoting Yoshi. Buy your yums balls. Buy <laughs> <laughs> Yoshi love balls. Fire balls. Buy your yum. fire yums balls. <laughs> <laughs> Mama Luigi. Where was it, the bagel? I have to you, Mario. <laughs> the bagel. I have to go quickly. Uh, take a whiz. TJ, do you want to remind everyone why we're here and get some donations plug in, in there, son? God, <laughs> I'm ready for this. No one said I had to do work. <laughs> <laughs> so early. Uh, we're here today to raise money for uh, Dreamscape, uh, who helps people with um, uh, disabilities, and you know, I think that's all. They do good stuff. We can. And we it's, think it's all the good stuff we can get behind helping people. You know, give us what, money. What people should do. Yeah, give us money to help people. Cause you like to help people, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't see any new donations. <laughs> What's wrong with these people? Didn't inspire them. People don't like helping people. Guys. What, what's up with that? Nathan's being a judgmental prick. Oh God, what happened? He said we're unprofessional. <gasps> <laughs> Why are we unprofessional? I don't know. We just, we just been doing the stream and we just, we just we're the best we can and Holy shit, I did not know the shortcut existed. Well, now you know. Yay. Look at you learning things about some of your favorite games. This stream is also informational. 
exactly. But like, please don't use the information you learned here. <laughs> just, just keep it to yourself. The stream is being is valuable for viewing thanks to thanks to viewers like you. <laughs> and the letter Q. Yeah. Coming up next, Bob Ross. Yeah. Just, just beat the devil out of it. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love the Titanium innocence. Titanium flies. <laughs> Don't I just missed the double R. Oops. You gotta love the sincerity and innocence of a grown man who laughs every time he says beat the devil. <laughs> every time. It's always hilarious to him. No. <laughs> he seems to have an obsession with beating the devil out of things. Yeah. You <laughs> buddy. Here comes Banana Slamma. <laughs> Here's to you, Mrs. Robinson. Robinson. Jesus loves you more than you will know. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Don't get me fucking started, man. <sighs> I like how Twix Mix actually refers to the disturbed <laughs> version of. Sound of Silence as, like, a Christmas version of the song. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I saw her post it, I was like, what? <laughs> and now I want a Disturbed uh, Christmas album. Whoa, whoa, what's going on with the world? What's going on with the stream? Ah! <laughs> yeah, the quality <laughs> so just... Hmm? The stream kind of glitched out for a sec. Uh, it's still glitching yeah. out. It's kind of glitching out. I don't know what it is. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Who's streaming? Maybe this? take down the bit right Ryan, maybe, right. maybe. Yeah, take, why, don't, why don't we stop for another second? Just take it down a bit further. Because it, it's only a, uh, you know, old NES SNES game. The bit doesn't have to be that high, I don't think. Okay. All right, we'll be right back then. <laughs> we'll do it live! <laughs> All right, we're back. Again. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Bye. Hi. So, guys, we are currently sitting at uh, $1,622. I think if we get to $1,650, by the time uh, DK is over with, I'm pretty sure we can convince MBM to sing the Donkey Kong Country cartoon theme song. I don't even know it. I'm pretty sure we can convince TJ to sing the Donkey Kong Country go. cartoon theme song. I don't know it. I'm pretty sure we can convince Mia to sing the Donkey Kong no, Country theme song. Get I'm Nathan pretty sure in we here. can convince. Ro I'm pretty sure we can. I'm pretty sure we get Nathan on stream. There we go. <laughs> we just, who, who the fuck do we know in our Skype contacts who can sing that song? Well, Twix Mix has been going on in chat about how. Her greatest moment in life was when she watched every episode of the Donkey Kong Country cartoon, so I'm sure we can get her. That's yeah. Twix Mix, that's sad, go. Do you, do you guys we also the love you. Do you guys remember the episode where, uh, where Donkey Kong was kind of like Samson, and he lost his hair, so he, he wasn't strong anymore, so they yes. kept, just kept feeding him bananas to see if it would it would, it would uh, fix him? Because, because King K. Rule sent a robotic to a magic spell to cut his hair and drain his strength. Yeah, and it was beautiful. Do you guys remember where Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong quit their job and then they wanted to go on welfare, but they need to smoke crack to get more welfare and then they got addicted to crack? No way, that's all the way sunny. <laughs> I swear, that's the only thing that anyone ever talks about when it comes to It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Oh, the, the why I don't want that, that show. Well, dude, it's because... Dude, you literally hear Danny DeVito, because they're like, why can't we have our roles back? And Danny DeVito goes, because, children, you are crackheads. That's why we need Danny DeVito as Detective Pikachu. <laughs> and then you also have the Pepe Sid. My, my favorite video of those, like, when I take the Danny DeVito voice clips for oh, Detective yeah. Pikachu is just a woman. Like, he's just... Take the Pikachu, you just like angrily pointing at like at like a kid, and he's just going, "Your mother is dead." <laughs> like, <laughs> I want, I, it's just like I want that. 
Pants, Detective Pikachu. The is that is, is that still be, is that being released in England, like in Western markets? Pro um, probably. <laughs> oh god, what's happening in the stream? Okay, this seriously looks like something that's fucking like. Yeah. Twitch fault. Okay, well now everyone's saying that there's plenty there's audio issues as well. <sighs> no, with the call, not with the game. I don't think. Yeah. yeah um. Okay, let me let me hang up the call and then I'll no, call no, everyone back. No, 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 because then I'll. Okay, I have to quit broadcasting then because XSplit won't pick up the uh, call if it's already open. Oh yeah, XSplit sucks. All right, um, so I'll end it. We'll be right back. We'll just kind of reset everything. Okay. Maybe someone else should host. Why am I the fucking bear? All right, so I don't I'm... even understand this one. All right, so how does it look to everyone now? I dropped the bit right even further. Yeah, it looks looking smooth. Okay. Yeah, it looks pretty smooth. All Sexy right. and smooth. It's all trial and error here. Awesome. Kind of like some of the platforming in Donkey Kong Country 2. Oh! oh! Are we sponsored by Donkey Kong? <laughs> nope, we're sponsored by Dole Bananas. <laughs> uh, until, no, until, until, we, until we get to the third marathon, then we're sponsored by Chiquita. That was supposed to be a Super Monkey Ball reference, but never mind. <laughs> <laughs> that, game, that game was fun for like it an is hour. Fun. I, I just find it hilarious that for the first two games, they were sponsored by Dole Bananas, but then for the third game, they switched over and instead were sponsored by Chiquita Bananas. Because Sega needed more money. I, I, I like there was it was literally a money reason or some shit. It's just kind of funny that the of two biggest that, that that's all sponsorship deals are, son. And it is no money, no donations. Know, exactly. It's like I, I know people like to think that video games are an art form. It's like a business, son. Of course, companies are gonna do shit to make you more money. Dollar dollar bill, y'all. How am I supposed bill, to use? How am I supposed to use all this Kickstarter money making my game when I could spend half of it into dollar bills to smoke crack off strippers' buttholes? <laughs> okay. What, did I just, what? Clearly, you've never made a video game. <laughs> I need four million dollars to make Mighty Number no. Nine, fam. But that already happened. You need it again. <laughs> We need to look I mean, it's better than nothing. <laughs> oh, Kinji, how Kinji Inafune got his groove back. He's a fucking... Everyone knows that the real creator of Mega Man left Capcom and made young little Samson. It was Yuji Naka. <laughs> no, but that's actually like a legit thing that people believe is that... Uh, like, the real person who made it went anonymous, but he ended up leaving and working on Little Samson, which is a great, great NES game that's super fucking expensive now, but... Yeah. What is this? What? Huh? What, is, what that is it? Game? It's a 2D platformer, but you can control different characters, like you can control this little boy, a dragon, a robot golem, and a mouse. And you can switch between the characters and the levels, like the mouse is super fast, can climb up walls and lay bombs, the dragon can fly, the golem is super slow, but he has like a really strong punch. And this was on the NES, so like having the multiple party members that you could switch in a platform level was a was a really good game, but like if you ever want to play it on cartridge, the cartridges alone are like $120. Hmm. Yeah. What's weird is that like, I mean, it was it? Steal it off them. Was that? Yeah. I could just find someone with a cartridge and just steal it off them. Or, you know, wasn't it, buy, it, buy a flash it, card. <laughs> wasn't it a thing, though, where, like, isn't it known that in, in a. When they didn't create Mega Man, he was just the, the programmer? Like, yeah. he didn't actually come up with the concept, did he? He just. W yep. Yeah, get fucked in a Fune. So it looks like we have a new donation from our good friend JMO RZ3 says, I am back again, and I have a request. Can TJ sing the One Piece pirate rap? We need more memes in this stream, mate. And then, P.S. Why is Ryan here? I don't even like Super Gaming Brothers. 
Good comment, Garrett. <laughs> Take it away, TJ. Yo, yeah, yo, yeah, yo, dreamin', don't give it up, Luffy, dreamin', don't give it up, Zolo, dreamin', don't give it up, Name, dreamin', don't give it, give it up, give it Before we go to find out, but a treasure in the grand line, there's no doubt, pirate desire is on it. Uh, what's happening? GJ, TJ, stop. It's in the zone. GJ, if your mic's fucking up, son. I think his microphone's finally had enough of, of that stupid song. I committed ritual <laughs> to do good. The whole quality uh, quality's kind of falling to shit. Yeah. Well, it seemed like it was really just uh, Garrett there, though, because you two sounded just fine. Yeah. Ooh, Ohio, get your shit together! Alright, so. Uh... Just like us, look at the chat. Is everything good for everyone, really? Still? Yeah, the chat, the the, the, the actual game itself looks fine. Uh, so it's probably just their call then. Yeah. Hell yeah. You, you made it through lights on, lights off. Good for you. Yeah. Okay. It's all right. Gonna try the so, boss. Skip so a few when times. you go in there, immediately jump over the barrel. Yeah. Do you make the safe state? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Cool. QQ. <laughs> Gareth left. I know Stefan. Gareth's not, Skype acting up. It's not, what? It's not letting, Never. It's not letting me uh do it. I mentioned jump as fast as I can. He still runs into it. Well, that's uh maybe 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 the, the, this is like version one point two where they stop that. Yeah, they, yeah. You know, they, they Or it's probably like uh, a buff, it's a buffer jump or something like you gotta. Input it before the level's loading, but not too soon, not too late. You know. Yeah. I'm not gonna sit here all, all day to figure it out, so. <laughs> yeah, that's fine, that's fine. D them tricksy SNES platforming glitches, they fucking hard as balls. The one the one game breaking bug I know on Nintendo glit fixed it, you bastards. <laughs> they patched it! Those sons of bitches patched it! This is, like, you can tell they were running out of ideas. Uh, what's this person gonna do? It's a fucking giant drum that just drops enemies. Okay. And that's after it's we have sense Naughty 2. <laughs> Alright. This, uh, this boss is the stupidly worst boss in this game, bar none. Okay, I think I fixed it. Oh, great. Am I good? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay, son, sing it. And let's just get it over with. Here's how the story goes, you find out, but a treasure in the grand line, there's no doubt. The pirate whose eye is on it, he'll sing, I'll be king of the pirates, I'm gonna be king. Yayo, 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 ho ho, his name is Luffy, that's Monkey D. Luffy, gonna be king of the pirates. He's made of rubber, how did that happen? Yo, ho ho, we took a bite of gum gum. Yayo, yayo, his name's a low, he's just like a samurai, and L-A-D-Y, nom, he's not shy. Usopp's doing that marksman thing, Sanji's cooking, Chopper's doctoring. Yayo, 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 ho ho, set sail for one piece. It's the name of the treasure in the grand line. Yayo, yayo, set sail for one piece. Yeah. Emil has DVDs yeah. of those. <laughs> that show is so bad. So, so bad. Yeah. Dude, right. Why did you make me watch the fucking movie then, you scum? Follow up question, TJ. Because uh, the four kids version is bad, that movie is awesome. Because it's, no, it's no, not, it's not the four kids version. Wait, which, which movie? Crash. Which, which One Piece movie did you watch? Uh, movie Derek. X or Derek, whatever. Derek brought uh, Film Z to uh, to Station Square. Nice. See, that's a good Sucks. movie. I, I I I prefer Strong World though. Yes, yeah, Strong World is way better than Film Z. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. agree there. And then. Uh, then you got that fucking, was it the Baron one? Baron one? The one that's like in a weird ass art style with the, with the flower. Oh, I've never seen that one. You've never seen the Baron movie, dude. That shit will give you fucking nightmares. I also gotta watch, I gotta watch that one where uh, they play soccer. Uh, but anywho, that follow up question was, uh, we are or we go? Um, mm -hmm. let me think for a second. 
I know, we are kind of has that classic feeling to it. I don't even know what that question means. Which is, it's do, the, the, it's, it's the, the first opening. And like the first opening versus the opening after the time skip. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, we go, no doubt. <laughs> but I also like um. Oh shoot! Let me think. Enough thinking. <laughs> it's yeah, the one. Up. It's it's whichever one has uh, when it like it shows all the characters and they're just kind of like hanging out in a town. Um, That's a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, isn't it share the world? That's the one after the tenth opening. So that's the one where uh, where it like shows them in their names and shit. Yeah. It like it like you it randomly it, like, it randomly has their entire backstory behind them written in English. Oh yeah, I remember that now. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Those are my two favorite One Piece openings. You share the world is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I think I find this final world in Donkey Kong Country easier than the world before it. Yeah, I do too. Apart from the final yeah. level. Yeah. What platform peril? That little easy. Yeah, I. I don't like the ending of it where you have to throw the barrels at the um, indestructible Kremlin guys. Crushes. Yeah. Level. I think this might be my favorite piece of fan art so far. It's Ryan's face over Bob Ross. He's, he's, he's painting a picture of Donkey Kong from Donkey Kong Country, the TV show. Oh, see, what, what, it, what it needs to be perfect is that they need to get, like, the text from the show, and if the text on the bottom, it says, uh, Titanium Dog. Titanium White. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna use some Titanium White. <laughs> titanium Dong. Titanium Dong. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna we're, we're, we're gonna paint we're gonna paint a happy little Kong in the corner here. We're gonna give him a little backstory. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, ha there there are backstory. there are no mistakes, just Kitty Kongs. <laughs> 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 just Lanky Kong, and by extension, Aaron. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. Lanky Kong is fine, and by association, Aaron is fine. I love Aaron. So, so uh, Ryan, then, if we were to if we were to associate Kongs with uh, Brain Scratch, we would assume that you, you would most likely be DK, seeing as you head up that. What 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 other Kongs would you assign Johnny, uh, Ted, and Lewis? Well, Ted would clearly be Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> Get fucked, Ted. <laughs> what would what would uh, Johnny and Lewis uh, be? Johnny would probably be Funky, and Lewis would probably be uh, Diddy. <laughs> Johnny is Funky Kong. <laughs> no, you know what? For some for some reason, just just because of all the fan art of Johnny with that like shit eating oh, grin, the, the I could post. Yeah. <laughs> no, I could I could totally see Johnny as Swanky Kong from Donkey Kong Country. 2. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord, I just looked up Swanky Kong. At <laughs> <laughs> uh, this level, at uh, the Misty Mind level, it's it's actually kind of fine to play on a, on a modern TV, but when you're playing it back in the day on a shitty, crappy TV... CRT, yeah. Yeah. God, that was... Um, I, I keep a CRT in my room just because I, I need it for Misty I have games. a CRT monitor for Commodore 64 stuff. Uh, cool. uh, in my basement, I have a big uh, CRT bubble screen, which we have a uh, N64 and a uh, SNES set up too. It's pretty fucking sweet. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, which I forget, uh, MBM, I forget, bud, but uh, hopefully uh, in a few weeks' time you'll be able to see that. Maybe. Hopefully. Maybe. Hey, maybe. Did, did it just start well, me back at the beginning? <laughs> yeah, cause, cause <laughs> Gareth, I start on the 16th. Hey, baby, you cool and sick for a few days, hey, hey baby! baby. <laughs> Show. Show. So, Ryan, are you looking, because again, as you said earlier, you're a big uh, DC fan, are you looking forward to the Killing Joke movie? 
Oh, definitely. Mostly because of Kendra. Mostly because of Condra and a Hamel. Hell yeah! Are you are you seeing it live? Because we um me uh, Smoothies and Aaron booked tickets to a and TJ booked tickets to a local theater that are showing it live. Uh, I, I don't know screen. if it, I don't know if anyone near me is doing it live, but I do have it ordered at least. Nice. Cause I think it's not because we have tickets for the twenty fifth, but I don't think the Blu Ray comes out until like August, uh, like early the, August. The I first think? the first week of August, yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's only like I a week. Ahead. It's this. only like a week ahead, so it's not too bad. Yeah. 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 I need to watch the second episode of Love Live Sunshine. It came out yesterday. Weeb. No one cares, you weeaboo nerd. I do. Okay. How are you, how are you even supposed to halate the snow when it's a fucking hundred degrees outside? No, it's not. Learn to use proper measurements of temperature. Fine. 33. It's not yeah, that fuck, bad. fuck you, I know Celsius. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know what's even better than Celsius? Kelvins. So fuck you. Science. Science. <laughs> you have five pig tits grafted to you. Six. What? Six pig tits. They put one on my fucking stomach. Wow. Really? Can I touch? Go ahead. <laughs> See, there was that joke in The Simpsons where Homer buys that that car with that really weird. Oh, uh, it was. Uh... <laughs> It was, um, <laughs> what, what country, what country was this car built in? Uh, it no longer exists. And then he's like, <laughs> no, trying, that's trying such an drive, early nineties joke. Trying to drive off the lot. And the car salesman's like, put it in H. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was, um, it gets, it gets seven hectares off a single tank of kerosene. <laughs> <laughs> seven hectares. I always love those things that like Ryan just did. If you get hit right next to a barrel, you can make like the Kong reappear as he's running off screen. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> too many Kongs. Too many Kongs. There are too many Kongs. <laughs> now there are. It's almost, almost like many. It's almost like the fucking Sonic cars. They just quick, quick introducing stupid Kongs in every single game. <laughs> Did anyone else find it, uh, I'm not sure if, if it mean spirited, but for no good reason they kill off Winkly in uh, 64. I was gonna bring no it up. no good yeah, reason, yeah, she's just pay. dead. She you deserves know. it because she was like making his pay in Donkey Kong Country 2. So they're cranky though, he's still around. Because <laughs> cranky, yeah, cranky is immortal. Is immortal. <laughs> <laughs> cranky survived encounters with Mario. Right, that's, yeah. that's like a I death sentence for a Kong. I will say, I will say, um, Donkey Kong Country 2 is my favorite of the trilogy, but the fact you have to pay to save is fucking bullshit. That is like the one yeah. thing I hate about Donkey Kong Country 2. Luckily, when yeah. I play it these days, I just save state. You <gasps> cheated, bitch. Hey, if it's available on the Virtual Console version, it's not cheating. That's true. Official release. <laughs> Official release. Yeah, not gonna lie, I definitely would not have beaten Earthbound if it wasn't for the VC safe states. Well, that's because Earthbound's a terrible game. Am I right, yeah. Nathan? Yes! I'm gonna have to go with you on that, too. Now you're gonna I've piss off Nathan that, even I've, more. I've, yeah, I've, oh, I've, 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 I've been saying that to my Nathan. <laughs> yup! <laughs> he called me a professional. Fuck his game taste. <laughs> <laughs> I, pl I played Earthbound on a on an emulator like ten years ago, and after about five minutes, I was just like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> Turned it off. Go up the hill. Go down the hill. Go up the hill again. Go down I, the hill. Go up I the couldn't hill get again. into it either. But, yeah. I, although, although I will say Johnny's Mother Three review actually made me want to play that. So if that comes out, you know, on Never. some not I um, exactly. It, it, excuse me, Gareth, but when is the Mother? store review coming though Mother's have we gotten confirmation on that <laughs> the thing is uh about mother 3 it looks cool but i'm it's on the gba and it has that means it has gba music so ew. yeah ew. Unfortunately, ew. it doesn't have like a uh, a sound patch because yeah. that's something that's something that i noticed like i learned recently is that a, there's a huge subset 
of the uh, GBA mod community that is solely dedicated to remastering the GBA soundtrack so that if you played them on an emulator, you get much higher quality sound. Mm. That sounds like they, good. They, they, just, they completely like recompose the music mm. just at a higher quality. It's like, damn, these guys. It's like, that's... that's uh, admirable dedication. Have, have they GBA done any... music isn't always bad. Yes, it is. NBM, have they done any of the uh, Sonic games? I'm sure they have, because I know, because I know they did all of the Game Boy Advance Final Fantasy games, so that they have their original SNES sound sounds in it. Awesome. But but that but that's pretty easy. Like all you have to do is just they yeah. just have to t the sounds are already there. Um, I'm trying to remember what other games because it was mostly RP. Because I know they did one for Golden Sun to have better music. Huh. Um, because because I would I would I would be interested to see the uh, higher quality like advanced one and two scores. I think mean, that have to be same. pretty sweet. That was and a three. You know, and you know what? I I love the score to battle. I think battle has a really interesting sound for the GBA. I like that. Yeah, yeah but it's still on the GBA, so. Yeah, but you know some tracks don't. You know, it's weird though. Like I love yeah, I love GBA. It's still on the GBA. It's, so fuck you, Mia. That is, to say, that, is, that is one of my favorite video game animations of all time. Angry Diddy. Yeah. His hat on the floor and stamp. I love, I love that. that. That's, that's a great, like, expression of character. <laughs> Beautiful. It's, it's NBM in monkey form. Yup. Yup. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Is there anything more to add to that conversation? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Just, uh, fuck you. Not in the slightest. That was it. Go home. <laughs> yeah, that is that, racist. TJ, that is my answer. Oh my yeah. god, that was that's so your, funny. That's that was the best. That was, that was the best thing. We were at, uh, we were at a, a, a convention and there was like this Q and A where with June Sonoy and uh, Lisa oh, Ortiz. Hold on a sec. Before we even get to that, this we were at a poorly run anime convention. Yeah, but TJ, so that, that that has nothing to do with with June. Who didn't with, even comment. Who didn't even tell June that, that that he was on this panel? No, no, no. They did again. TJ, you're an idiot. Shut up. I'm just speaking. Quiet now. Quiet now. In terms of this panel, it was June Sonoy, Lisa Ortiz, and it was supposed to have John St. John, who just never turned up, and it was supposed to have one of the right one of the current writers. I think it was Ken Pontak. But he just didn't turn up to the entire convention as a whole, and so it was. These two being asked questions, and after like 10 minutes, most of the questions just went to June Sonoy. And after every question, he would he'd be like, So, you'd be like, So, June, what's your favorite uh, song that you've ever composed? And he'd just be like, uh, Yeah, Escape from the City. And then there'd be like a brief couple of second pause, and then he'd say, That is my answer, to let everyone know he was finished. And it was beautiful. Though, to go back to TJ's question, in the, in the, um, uh, in the outline of the events, this was on the Saturday. On the Sunday, they had him listed for a a private for like a Q and A for just him at like 11, 11 a.m. And he was like, "My my plane leaves at nine. They approved my flight. I don't know why they're doing doing the same with Johnny. Johnny was supposed to be at a signing event, which we didn't get to, which we missed. Fortunately, we missed him on the Friday because Twix Mix is a fucking idiot. Nice. Um, we didn't, don't we didn't be mean to, to Twix Mix. She fucked up. Um, no, don't be mean to Twix Spits. Shut up, Mia. No one asked you. Opinion. You're gonna roll with this crew. You gotta learn to take it. No, don't be yeah. mean to Twix Mix. And you can be mean it. to TJ, but you can't be mean to Twix Mix. All right, final TJ boss time, did... everyone. Yay! T TJ didn't fuck up and miss us meeting Johnny. Twix Mix did. Twix Mix or so, TJ <laughs> fucked up <laughs> by being born. No, Mia, that was you. And TJ. No, TJ's actually did done some good. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> and by good, I mean TJ makes the rest of us look better, but by comparison. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, exactly! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, oh. Uh, uh. I used to love this boss as a kid. It's a great boss. Awesome music. By far, that's my that's my favorite design of uh, King, King K. Rool. Yeah. Hmm. K. Rool for Smash. Kind of, K. Rool for Smash. It, uh, it always was weird in um, Donkey Kong 64. He was like ten times bigger than Donkey Kong. Even though in this game they're like almost the same height. Yeah, I mean, like he's always bigger, but like he was just a giant in Donkey Kong 64. 
<laughs> like all of, like, all of the bad guys that Donkey Kong has defeated, but you can't jump on King Cable's crown because it'll hurt you. <laughs> yeah. I, I love that touch. And I'm not sure if, if we got into it yet, but um, uh, but I love I love the, the as, as uh, Nathan pointed out, yeah, the fake out credits are amazing. Yeah, I think I've um, I think this is the first um, like game that I ever actually beat like on my own, and I remember just feeling so satisfied when I finally finished this game. <laughs> nice. Okay, guys, it looks like we got a few, no few more donations. We're currently at 1,634. If we get to 1,650, we'll bring in Nathan to sing the, D the Donkey Kong Country cartoon before we get to the end of the game. But in terms of donations, we have... Let uh, have a look. Yeah, we have a five, five dollars from Harold Cohen. Says, hey, guys, I'm finally able to donate. I hope this little bit helps keep up the great work. Thank you so much. And we have um, another one from uh, J Moore RZ3. It says, so Garrett, as a main man in HFC, um, not, not so much, will there be any retakes <laughs> here? Also, TJ, your destiny is to be weep trash like Mia. Don't deny your destiny. And J Moore <laughs> is down. <laughs> Woo! Good job, Ryan. Everyone, give it up for the main man, Ryan. He bested Donkey Kong Country! Without saving at any point. Good man. Uh, put this at my last donation to Cheetah Man to be first game in Action 52. So that's seven bucks for Cheetah Man. Do we ha Is there one for Cheetah Man yet? Or do we have to, have to uh, make a new no, bit? No, you have to make one. Okay, let me go make a new bit then. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. do, do, do. Do 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 Did, so what did we get? Did we really quickly we refresh? Uh, out of someone asked in the chat, are we going to do all 52 games? What? Uh, no, probably not. But um, I like obviously I need to fill out the time. So if we don't get enough donations, which we should, because you guys should be donating, um, uh, I'll just go over some random games and stuff to fill out the hour or so. Okay. Okay, guys, um, unfortunately, GoFundMe is being a tiny bit slow, but just refreshing. We are now sitting at $1,754. Thank nice. you guys so much. Again, GoFundMe is, is, is a bit slow, so I do apologize. I, I will keep refreshing until I get to any comments that need to be read out. But in the meantime, uh, in the meantime, Nathan, get your sweet ass on Skype. We're going to bring you on so you can sing the DK60. No, just the DK. DK. Uh, Steve. Cartoon. Cartoon theme song. Can uh, can I end the call and when you guys start it? Cause I gotta go set up. Uh, no, cause I'll ruin it. Oh. But I'll ruin the. Oh explode. yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Right, then, never mind. This uh, I mean, this will just take it. So we're Ryan actually finished that a lot earlier. Than okay, we cool. We, we because could. I'm just that. Good. So, so we have plenty of time. It's like look, Ryan is that good again. Everyone, everyone, give it up for Ryan. Fucking amazing. Good job, Ryan. Yeah, seriously, great job. Yay. You played that game. I'll be, I'll be back later it. today. <laughs> Okay, I'm trying to add. I'm trying to add Nathan into the call. There he is. It's like I was looking for him. It's like I think I'm friends with him. Am I Skype buddies with you? I don't even know. <laughs> Would you like to be? Hey, Nathan. Would I like to be what? Nathan! Skype buddies. Nathan. Nathan! Nathan! Everyone, give it up for the co-host. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a that was a great run of DKC ride. Thank you. Alrighty. Rolling Break it Mankies. down, Nathan. Break it down. Hoo-ha! Hoo-ha! Donkey Kong! Hey, yo! Look out down below! Here he comes, Banana Slam of Conga Bongo's hero! Hey, yo! Look out down below! Here he goes, Banana Slam of... Wow! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's literally the only verse of the song. <laughs> you, have, you have to do. You have to do the guitar. You, you gotta do the guitar. <laughs> 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 
Lord. Let Donkey Kong, let's go, let's go. <laughs> that just sounds like a cheer. Oh, that, was, that was beautiful. That, that that's was... literally that's literally what the intro is. Is just cheering for Donkey Kong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Oh. It, it looks like because again, Ryan finished early. It looks like uh, Pokemon Blue is not scheduled to start until twelve thirty. Um, <laughs> so Ryan's just digging around for half an hour. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> More I or mean, less. I'm going to go it, get food then. Okay. Again, I I am. Can I join for the Pokemans? I like yeah, blue. Sh sure. Yay! I didn't think anyone even wanted to be in the call for that, so sure. <laughs> I mean, that, I think me, me and Steven are uh, down to being for that. Oh, well, yeah, okay, cool. Also, to go back on something you guys mentioned really, really early in the playthrough of Donkey Kong Country, Raw Face Rumble from Donkey Kong Country 3 has got to be one of the best soundtracks from that game. Because of the fucking SNES electric guitar. Okay. Oh, yes, yes, nuts and bolts. Oh, yeah, nuts and bolts <laughs> as well. That one's fucking awesome. Again, uh, uh, I, I played Donkey Kong Country 3 like 10 years ago. I just don't remember any tracks from it. I, I, I remember the mo I have the most memories with Donkey Kong Country 3 because I specifically remember seeing the, uh, the commercial for it on TV. And that year for Christmas, me and my brother, we both got, we each get, got one SNES game a year for Christmas. And wow. he, well, I, I had a low income family. No, um, I'm saying it in the opposite. Wow, you got to have one a year? It's fucking awesome. <laughs> um, and so I specifically remember wanting Donkey Kong Country 3 while my brother begged for Mario Paint. And he never played Mario Paint! <laughs> I love Mario Paint. Mario I actually Paint have, was... it, I have it with the mouse and stuff on Super Nintendo. <laughs> Mario Paint's only good for the uh, fly swatted minigame. Me and my brother would just play that for and music. We just make stupid. We used to make crappy tracks. animations on it. What? The, what are you? What are you talking about, Garrett? Mar Mario Paint was my first animation software. That's how I made my <laughs> first Sonic short. Oh, well, <laughs> I'll be back in a few minutes. I just need to get some foods. Bye. Bye. I love you all. Oh, holy Except shit! Um, <laughs> Nathan doesn't know how to react to general human affection. No, 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 no. I just <laughs> refre I refreshed the GoFundMe page and we have a $120 donation. Yep, that's what the, that's what pushed us over the edge. And that's from our good friend Stephen Arn. says, hello again, FTCR crew and Ryan. Just given the last big donation I can this week, but expect at least one more after I get paid this week. Thank you so much, Stephen. Put this towards Portrait of Ruin because Johnny is awesome and he should play his favorite Castlevania... Yes, that man is awesome for letting us wanting uh, for wanting us to play Portrait of Ruin. No, rip. You know what, this? Oh, I think this this might push Portrait of Ruin over the edge for, in terms of winning. Let me have a quick look. Let me update. I this. hope so. Charlotte, Jonathan, Charlotte, Jonathan, Charlotte. So look, okay. So we have currently Order of Ecclesia is at two hundred and twenty-three dollars. Dawn of Sorrow is at one hundred and seventy-eight, and currently in the lead. Portrait of Ruin with three hundred and nineteen dollars. Let's keep that up, people, wow. please. Uh, honestly, unless Donosaurus is a Julius Ryan. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 <laughs> hashtag best bail not. And aside from an, uh, in terms of other updates, it looks like in terms of the uh, which version of Symphony of the Night, the Saturn version is currently sitting at twelve bucks, while the PlayStation One version. Is sitting at 121. Not being uh, not being too knowledgeable. What is the difference then between the PlayStation and Saturn version? Okay, with the Bag. <laughs> with the Saturn version, it is not as graphically intense. It is very downgraded version of it. But the Saturn version does have uh, additional areas to it, whereas uh, the PlayStation One is just it's got the Narmi English voice acting, um, which is it's always a good time to hear that ridiculous voice acting um and it's it's just a higher uh, the playstation one version is a higher quality version but the saturn version has extra content oh cool um and then let me see let me check whatever um i'm just, I'm, I'm just updating some more uh <laughs> information and then i can so then it looks like we, so st looks... we still have we still have the Mario and Sonic pinball bidwat. 
yet we have it looks like Mario Pimba was sitting at three dollars and uh, Sonic Pimba was sitting at thirty-one dollars and then in terms of the Shadow the Hedgehog looks like Pure Hero Evil is at one dollar Pure Hero Hero is at twenty-four Semi Hero Evil is at one dollar Semi Hero Hero is at one dollar Neutral Evil is one dollar Neutral Hero is one dollar Semi Dark Evil six Semi Dark Hero one Semi Dark Hero no, sorry, sorry, pure pure dark hero is one and the clear winner pure dark evil 96 dollars because we want ted to suffer of course it's ted what's fucking this is what he gets for wanting to play kirby he has to play the worst shadow <laughs> round get rex scrub yeah my man knows ba -ba -ba -boy. <sighs> DJ, if you're gonna do it, you gotta do it right. Hold on. Um, <laughs> excuse you? I don't know, TJ, exactly. TJ's getting schooled on fucking... on fucking air horns. You gotta have it right. I'm just kidding, TJ, you do doing amazing. <laughs> Between all the hate from Mia and, and that hate from Nathan, I just, I just don't know. What are you talking about, TJ? I love you, and Mia doesn't count as a person. <laughs> oh, she's a fuck. Wow. She doesn't. She doesn't. She's a fuck. Hello. Oh, good point. Good point. Well made. <laughs> anyone that played. Anyone that played Doug. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Fucking Doug was. What even was that? Yeah. Where the fuck were you? Oh, I knew you had a good excuse for avoiding me. <laughs> it's an entire video game on being a possessive <laughs> asshole. <laughs> on being a possessive stalker. Yeah, with sure, with sure. vivid hallucinations of being Quail Man. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking game was so messed up. That game was that game was just wrong. <laughs> and all Mia did was wander in circles. <laughs> Oh. What did I just get tagged in on Twitter? Uh. Oh, we have fan art of Super Castlevania 4. Ryan is Simon. Um, MBM is a bone dragon, I believe. Sure. Uh, oh. it also looks like TJ oh. is a, it also looks like TJ's a bone dragon. Uh Sonic Angel is a Medusa head. I'm a skeleton. Mia is the gargoyle rings that Simon hangs off of. <laughs> <laughs> and Twixnix is also a skeleton. Oh, and, and and Stefan is, it looks like, I think that's Dracula in the background? This is beautiful. Beautiful. Somebody put, somebody put Johnny on uh, <laughs> Swanky Kong's bloody <laughs> Was that, uh, Ed Full Metal? I, I'm pretty sure it probably was. No, uh, it was, it was Spider Knife, our good buddy, oh. Robert Webb. <laughs> and then somebody made, somebody, <laughs> somebody made the uh, DK family. You got Ryan as, uh, DK, Lewis, Lewis <laughs> as Diddy, Ted as Kitty Kong, one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and they have this thing where they have, they put Johnny's face on Swanky Kong's, um, Swanky Kong's uh, body, but the weird thing is Swanky Kong's big haircut with with Johnny's Johnny's bald head and the hair above it, it makes it look like Tails Channel. How like much the hair sticks up? <laughs> oh, please retweet it. I did. I just retweeted that. <laughs> so, okay, everyone, uh, th thank you to everyone who has, has been donating. Again, it's always it's always great when when we set a limit and then we just go way past it for certain games. It's always always a great great thrill. So again, uh, we are currently at one one thousand seven hundred and fifty-seven. In about in about thirty minutes, um, MBM will be taking over to be doing one of his uh, Patent and speed runs. Uh, he's going to be taking down Pokemon. We hopefully this speed run won't get him thrown in a Pokemon speed run in jail. Yeah. Hopefully it does. Hopefully it does. I want to <laughs> visit. I want to visit you in Pokemon speed running jail. Dude, don't worry. If I once I hit jail, I'm just going to make everyone my bitch. 
conjugal no, uh, visits in Pokemon <laughs> speedrunning jail. <laughs> In, in, in that picture of the brain stretch Donkey Kong crew, the fact that the fact that, the fact that Lewis is Diddy and he's Wait, on I, Ryan's I, I, shoulders is just ridiculous. It's adorable. <laughs> it's adorable. I like um. I mean, just just because we probably won't have because you're only streaming blue for half an hour, we don't want to take up too much time for that. Do you want to explain what happened with your Pokemon illegal Pokemon speedrunning activities? Uh, yeah, sure. So, uh, the run coming up is gonna be Pokemon Blue No Safe Corruption. Um, the reason for that category is just that when you do you save corruption, you pretty much finish the game in under five minutes and you just walk from your house to the Hall of Fame. Uh, so save corruption is sort of... It, it's not really a highly competitive category, it's more just, hey, let's look at how terribly broker, broken uh, Gen 1 Pokemon is, even though it's technically the third time they made a Gen 1 game, so how did they not fix this shit? And so, uh, rather than using the memory manipulation to create a map code to go straight to the end of the game, uh, well, no, that's in the run. What I end up, rather than doing the save and reset that corrupts memory bits, um, I just get through the game using glitches and any other, uh, tricks and manipulation that are within the game to beat it and, like, half an hour with no badges and it's got a lot of cool little tricks probably the only thing i don't like about the run is i have to pick bulbasaur oh no one likes that i know it's it's a shame but you have to there is a certain glitch after pewter city that requires bulbasaur with certain uh pp in two of his moves in order for the glitch to work so um it, it doesn't work with the other starters which is a shame yeah, there's so pp in my moves Oh yeah, there is. That's what, this, what those conjugal visions are all about. <laughs> so, I mean, what have what? what can I forget? What was the game you did that got you landed in a speedrunner in jail? Sapphire. What did you do to Sapphire? I Nothing. They just thought I I cheated, and they were like, "We need you to prove you did not cheat." So I had to prove innocence. And it's like, uh, I'm good. Was it like King of Kong where people broke into your house and tampered with your GBA? No, it was more just one guy who messaged me on Twitter and YouTube like eight times a day, every day. <laughs> like, it now show me on Sapphire where he touched you. Po much. Pokemon speedrunning is serious business, fam. That is some super Wait, serious what business. What happened with people breaking into your house? <laughs> <laughs> Well, TJ, what happened was last night, you're not fully aware, but I had myself <laughs> a good time with your unconscious booty. N no, I knew that. <laughs> well, that just makes it less fun for me, then. She <laughs> could <laughs> lord! It's supposed to be a happy place, MBM. Happy place. Bad touch. But, uh... Yeah, it was, uh, I'm back with my food. I'm just gonna mute while I eat. And and on and thankfully during the run, like the glitches happen at a pace that like I can easily explain them while I do them, which also makes it easy to enjoy and understand. Um, Sharing really do... speed run knowledge? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just a fun little category I I like to do. Um, it started off as something called no badges that I created. And then from there, they just started finding glitches that worked out into a, a more concise 20-minute run. Nice. They treated me way better than Chibi. Dude, Chibi, that motherfucker, I, I honestly started feeling bad for him once they started getting his mom involved. What? Wait, 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 what happened? Chibi was, what? A guy, Chibi was a guy who kind of sped around, but he was also, like, sort of an attention whore and, like... When he went to his first GDQ and stuff, there is a rule when you're at GDQs that you cannot stream. Like, they do not want you taking up bandwidth. And uh, so there was one day that when the staff, uh, when they were out of the hotel because they were like, you know, that they're also trying to enjoy their vacation. So most of the staff was out of the hotel. Uh, he started streaming in the practice room to try and, you know, say like, hey, look, I'm streaming at GDQ, give me some viewers, and so he just did a lot of stuff like that, so uh, some of the more degenerate members of the community, aka uh, 
speedrun general surge uh gave him a really fucking hard time and it wasn't helped that later on he would do something like the uh he's the guy if you've ever seen the picture the uh the stream that's the funeral for iwata he did that stream a stream that had ads play during it so uh a lot of people just gave him really hard times like Ugh. calling him and like sending messages hacking his stream so that it was showing porn on stream and then the worst was probably when like one of the guys got the phone number of his mom and like told him to say hey, do you know that your son is doing all of this stupid shit and it was, it was bad why would you get someone's like family involved that's the like, that's because the because 4chan, line, 4chan doesn't know the limit they don't know the line it does not exist Jesus fuck. Well, you know, moving on from that terribleness to some uh, new donations we have. We have another three dollar from J Mule uh, Z3. So, so MBM, are you gonna show these scrubs how to SGDQ? Put this towards Cheetah Win again. Are you going to do that? I'm just gonna have a fun run and hopefully people I just enjoy need to it. Fix that thingy first. Uh, hold on. You can still add to it, just so you know. Okay, I'm gonna add the portrait. Is okay, today the day? Oh, the, um, you know, so Mia, I, I messed up, and if you check the site... Uh, yeah, I, I know, I was going to say, you can still add to it, though. Um, I'll well, just I made the you know, I, I, I made a new one. So, so oh. the one, so the, because I, I accidentally, this is um, behind the scenes shoot you guys are getting into now. Because I accidentally set the, the gold limit to seven bucks by accident, that means on the website, it says, like, incentive achieved. Yeah. So we just need to, I guess, remove that. Um, yeah, 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 that's what I'm going to do. Uh, you the fox, you the fox! And we have another five bucks, five bucks, five bucks from <laughs> Nobutron. Says, hey, hey, the Garantus, uh, Velocitius Maximus Vicious. What the fuck? I humbly request of thee to sound the trumpets of Tronus Jonas in celebration of this marathon. Put this towards Portrait of Ruin, and is there any moment, is there any more art you guys would like for me to draw for you? Well, first, to uh, to do your first uh, request, Tron John, give us some air horns. <laughs> uh, I will put five bucks towards Portrait of, of Ruin. Um, in terms of, of uh, uh, it's just, I guess it's just if there's a moment that sticks out to you guys or something stupid we say, um, you know, that's always good. Or if you want, draw, draw a picture of, of MBM punching me in the face. Yes, please. <laughs> because, because do that while holding a sign that says no, that, that that says no foxes allowed. That's mean. <laughs> or draw well, a picture were, of M draw a picture of MBM. Yeah, draw a picture of MBM ripping off her tail. No. <gasps> <laughs> Damn being offensive now. Look at this shit. I'm, I'm not a violent person. I'm an angry person. I'm, I also don't take shit seriously, but I'm not violent. Are you Except even a person, MBM? I what? <laughs> Look, I'm all for a massacre here or there, but it doesn't make me a violent person. He just hates all foxes and wants them to die. That's mean. <laughs> Hey, Gareth, after the marathon, is there going to be a fan art video, or are we just gonna... Yeah, the, we, we will, I will, once the, uh, once everything's done, uh, I think Twix Mix is uh, collecting fan art, I will, depending on how much we have, I will, something will be done with, with the fan art. Um, we will do uh, well, <laughs> as far as I know, by the end of the first day yesterday, there was over 80 pieces of fan art already done. Holy, I, I mean, yes. Yeah. Uh, so it's showing up. I'm just looking at the site. There's one with seven dollars and there's one cheetah men with there's one cheetah men with seven dollars and one with ten. Do you want me to merge them or like no, I don't, no, I don't... no, I um, I, I started a new one. So just, okay. if, 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 if you can just delete the one that says incentive reached, we should be all good. Okay. All right, then. Awesome. Thank you. Uh... Yeah, that's done. You the fox! You the fox! Fuck, fuck. Somebody made fucking Doug's big game for us, the Castlevania box art. They put Quail Man's head on Simon Belmont, and all the enemies just have pork chop. <laughs> <laughs> as, as God intended. 
my favorite ones, and I don't mean this as a crit, but my favorite ones, like all the uh, the the pictures of like Doug and Portrait still have like white around the faces. Those are my favorite pet photoshops. But there's clearly still like just white everywhere. Yes. <laughs> as God <laughs> intended. Someone drew a picture where it's just it's the words MBM and Mia with like hands and feet coming up. And MB one of, M one of MBM's hands, I'll, I'll retweet it, one of MBM's hands put, is pulling off of a tail holding a sign saying no foxes allowed with underneath it says, what do they look like? <laughs> <laughs> There's actually a picture of me on the internet now, alright? It's, it's... No, shit, but like, it's just like the wood MBM with arms and legs coming out of it, it's beautiful. <laughs> and it's not even <laughs> arms and legs, it, they look like lollipop. They look like suckers. <laughs> It's just a circle and a line. Beautiful. That's great character design. I play a game where the characters all look like that. By the way, to bring this back to Ryan, I'm loving all the moonwalks you're doing up the steps. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the only way to play the game. <laughs> Somebody took my Twitter avatar and put it facing the wrong way on the Donkey Kong from the cartoon. Uh, I I right, I have to say, these. kind of like TJ, all of these, all of these moonwalks is moonwalking is LP. It's getting me hot and bothered. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Smoothies is in the chat and always says, I'm confused. I'm confused. Why aren't you confused, Smoothies? Well, this is fucking new. I think he's confused as to why Castlevania is being played. So I fucking oh, feel like uh, it. And you guys haven't told me to yeah, stop uh, streaming yet. <laughs> Smoothies, uh, Castlevania is being played now because Ryan finished Donkey Kong Country a lot sooner than we expected. And so just so we don't uh, mess up the schedule for the day, Ryan is just finishing off his time uh, by doing some Castlevania for... No, what's Super going on is that we threw, the, we threw the schedule out. Good luck. <laughs> this gives Steven a goddamn heart attack. Where's my fucking schedule? Dead. It's nothing but Pimple 7 now. <laughs> oh god, why is the mirror done all pinball? And every cell <laughs> just says Donnie. Oh. Donnie. Oh, my, oh my god. It's, it's all pinball. Smoothies, what do you mean after last night's fiasco? I wasn't in there for the whole thing, but I had fun during Lego Dimensions. What happened? I I, I don't know, because I, 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 like, I took a nap and woke up and came back, and they were doing $10 donations to read fanfiction. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Scooby Dooby Doo Doo. <laughs> You know what? I, I I wondered what all those uh all those fan arts with that what that term were. Hey, it was getting them. It was getting people to donate. So. And that's why we're here. You know, that's that's the thing. We're here. We're, you know, generally as I said yesterday, we kind of make fools of ourselves anyway on YouTube. Everything stupid you want us to do. Within the realm of, of reasonability, if it will get you to donate, we will sing, read, shout out, do pretty much most thing. If you click that, click that fancy little donate button and uh, spread some money towards the uh, fantastic Dreamscape Foundation. I'm willing to with, go as far as armed larceny. With, within yeah. the realm of reason, Gareth, they made me sing Green Day yesterday. Oh, <laughs> what you... Why? What album? <laughs> no, what album? No, I, they just had me sing American Idiot. Oh, that's from American Idiot, then. I mean, if it was from the Insomnia album, then th that's okay, because those songs are good. <laughs> it's the best album ever, because it's their post, we got popular, now everyone hates us, so we hate everyone back album. Every <laughs> song is just so petty and bitter, it's the best <laughs> album ever. And, uh, Nathan, you should have just sang their version of the Simpsons theme. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know dignity when you see it? No, I gave it up when I married you. 
What is dignity? Who has dignity in this day and age? That's a door. No one. Uh, I sleep in a race car bed. Where do you sleep? <laughs> <laughs> I sleep with my wife. <laughs> uh, Moon, I'll skip up. I can't walk tomorrow. <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up! I sleep in a race car. <laughs> do you? No. no he did I that, sleep with Mia. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Can I borrow a feeling? <laughs> <laughs> Heal my heart with you a glove of love. Millhouse's no, dad is so underappreciated. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so underappreciated. I don't even know what his name is. Just cook, cook. But now, whoa, Robo Garrett. <laughs> Uh, uh, as he back, I don't like the idea of Boo House having two spaghetti dinners in a one week. I love <laughs> he says that while well, well, he's just he's just burning to death in the corner. <laughs> Oh shit, I think I hear Mia doing some sub vaping. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Degenerate. I can respect you being a fox. I can respect you liking fresh. What I can't respect is you vaping. <laughs> well, tough. The, she can wear the vape nation hat because only the true vape masters can wear the vape nation hat. Not a vape master. Shit, you don't even know. That sounded like the Hank of the Hill, uh, auto tune Dixieland. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, hey, Chad! <laughs> Your father still member down at Nine Rivers Country Club? <laughs> yes, sir, Mr. Soup. <laughs> I don't know whose purse this is. <laughs> That's my purse, and I don't know you! What have you been eating? Dirt, dirt. I beat the piss this, in your this. mule, boy. <laughs> this is a medical disorder. Boggle. Dallas. She's bluffing, Felicia. Boy, I hate Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, I still love how we were all saying that fucking Momo kind of and of course they ordered Nancy's pizza. So the first thing out of all of our mouths is, boy, I hate Nancy. And the guy's fucking look at us like, well, you would have to fuck you. He's like, no, 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 it's a meme, it's a meme. Don't worry, we're, we're super no, great. No, 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 the best thing, I mean, the best thing was that TJ spent like five minutes going, guys, I sure hate Nancy. He's just pointed at the box. I was like, yeah, okay, TJ, we get it, all right? We get it. <laughs> like, half an hour later, I look at the book and go, hey, guys, look, I sure hate Nancy. And everyone laughed and TJ was like, I was fucking doing that an hour ago. <laughs> it was funnier when you did it. <laughs> Alright, that's the end of that. Well, have, have you finished Castlevania 4 already? No, I just got a game over. Uh, okay, I was and like, it, and, it, and, it, and, it, and it's about 10 minutes till, so I think it's a good time for a bit of a break. Yeah, because I gotta restart my computer and get everything open, so I'm gonna need time. Alright, I'll be back later with Turtles. I think we're gonna go once again, Ryan. Good, 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 good. Again, everyone, everyone.
And big, big, big hand to Ryan. He kicked the shit out. Donkey Kong Country. Give it up for the head. Head hunt your brain scratch comb. Just near yeah, me. Ryan. <laughs> Ryan, you can sound a little more enthused. <laughs> nah. I, I like your energy there, buddy. <laughs> no worries, Bob. Okay, so we'll be back in about 10 minutes where NBM is going to start playing. He's going to start playing a, his, his path speed speedrun of Pokemon Blue.